Uh, okay, testing one, two. Okay. Um, Cloudy, can I please get a percent? Oh, D100 roll from me. Okay, yeah, just one second. No worries. Oh, also, I'm forgetting. Beautiful. Okay, so our adventure starts in the wonderful city of Neverwinter. Do we lose someone? No. Uh, yeah, the music bot. That's so rude. I don't know why we lost the music bot, but let's put it back in. Perfect. Um, so, our adventure starts in the bustling capital city of Neverwinter, along the Sword Coast. Neverwinter, being the main cultural hub of the Sword Coast, is a sprawling city with uh, towering spires that um, dot the skyline. As we come across, you'll notice... Um, several of these large ships from Ever Eberron that have just pulled into the port with um, almost mechanical engines on the back of them that are being powered by some sort of um, like techno magic um, uh, engine burners. Coming across as we go through the bustling city streets um, of tavern, uh, tavern owners just opening their doors for the morning, um, our sellers coming, our stall sellers just setting up for the day, getting all their wares ready along the, uh, along the side streets. We come to a small alleyway just off one of the main drags in Neverwinter. And in there, probably, I imagine, just waking up, but we'll have to find out. Cloudy, can you please introduce your character? Um, in the first person? However you want to do it. Uh, so, uh, am I meeting everybody, or am I just... No, so you're just okay. describing what your character looks like. Yep. Um, Maybe perhaps what they're doing. It's first thing in the morning in the city of Neverwinter. Um, okay, my character's name is uh, Draythor Flamecrest. Um, he is a cobalt, um, red cobalt. So he's taking. He's part of the brass dragon. He's very small, probably not much taller than two feet tall. Um, he's wearing a uh, a kind of a kind of like a dirty robe it uh, looks like it's been covered in some dirt and coal um he's walking around the city he's actually looking surprisingly happy for a a kind of a, a dusty dirty um cobalt and uh yeah he's currently looking at all the signs as he's going past looking like he's kind of on a bit of a determined mission to find something as you're making your way through these little side streets, keeping your eyes posted for any sort of signs and posters. You see a halfling, um, maybe maybe about a foot taller than you. Um, he's got a big satchel with a bunch of like round um, pieces of parchment 
sticking out of them. And as you see him pull one out and hold one, uh, roll it out yeah, against the go. wall and with his other hand pull out like a wet paintbrush as he paints this poster onto the wall. Um, as you look at this poster, you see a smiling dwarf with a big, um, with a big brown beard with several little gold rings, um, sort of intertwined throughout his beard. Um, directly below this, you see a big sign, uh, you see a big patch of text that says, Adventure is wanted. Substantial pay. Uh, minimal risk required. If interested, please inquire at the Ram's Head Tavern on the northern side of Neverwinter. Um, as you see this sign, um, as, as this halfling sort of finishes putting up this sign, um, he'll sort of give you a sort of, not a, not a too, like he doesn't look too interested in you, but being a kobold, it's quite rare to see one of you, uh, just walking around in town. Um, what would you like to do? I, uh. I want to walk up to him and ask if he's heard of a, a particular set of brothers who may own a, um, a kind of a mining operation. And, uh, um, cause I've been this like, sort of like young halfling will sort of look at you and just sort of point you mean, are you talking about Gundren? Yeah. yeah. He just paid me a couple of gold to go hang these posters up. He's been talking about this big job for weeks now. I think he might have. I think he might have finally found that mine. Oh, that's good. I just came from a mine myself, and uh, I, I was sent here to look for them. So, uh, w w where is this place? This tavern? Oh, um, if you're looking for the Ram's Head, you want to go maybe two miles down the main street and then it's two streets off on the left can't miss it big drunken ram out the front oh. just be careful it tends to bite if you get a bit too close oh don't worry i've got a bit of my own bite and i like <laughs> snap forward and <laughs> a thousand dragon blessings upon you and i <laughs> scuttle off <laughs> As you sort of walk away, you'll just hear that guy, um, you'll hear this halfling sort of just mutter to himself like, You think he was a fucking dragon? <laughs> and then, so you head off towards the tavern. We will cut back to you very shortly, but I imagine not too far away, um, I imagine probably waking up under a bar, under a bar stool, or under a table it's about okay. is is our dwarf Bravnian. Can you please describe your character? Uh, yeah, Bravnian's about um four and a half feet tall, uh thick ginger beard and long ginger hair. Uh kind of looks like he's kinda of looking after himself well enough, uh, other than where he's waking up. Um, he's kind of kitted out with a load of junk hanging off him. That's essentially it. And what do you think he's doing this morning as he's slowly arising in whatever tavern he passed out at? Uh, first thing he's going to do is start the day off right and get a morning drink. Um. <laughs> <laughs> as you get up, you notice that there's there's not even a bartender in here. You think that he probably didn't notice you as he left and That's has fine. just locked up with you inside. I'm not tall enough to jump the counter, so I will kind of lean over it and awkwardly crawl my way across. Uh, <laughs> go help myself uh, to a keg of ale. Very nice. So you get yourself an ale. Yeah, I'll just chug it back, crawl back over the bar, <laughs> march to the door, kick it open like I own the place. Nice. Oh, As and you... then I'll pat myself. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. You go. Okay, for it. 
Uh, like as I get to the door, I'll stop, pat myself down, check that I have everything. I kind of nod to myself, <laughs> then kick the door down. Nice. Uh, well, let's kick it off strong with the first roll of the day. Can you give me an athletics check? I certainly can. To hey kick up. down this locked door. Nineteen. Nineteen. Right. As you kick this door down, you actually, instead of just kicking the door open, you actually snap the hinges on the left-hand side, so the whole door just flies forwards. As it does, you would expect it to lie flat in front of you. But you notice it's on some sort of an angle, as if there's something underneath the door. Um. <laughs> I will just kind of march out over the door. <laughs> It doesn't make any noises as I step on it. As you step over this door, you hear a Get the fuck off me! Oh, <laughs> sorry, coming through. <laughs> Just march over the door, jump off on the far side. Um, and then I'll lift the door up. As you lift this door up, you will now see a very squished and very injured elf. <laughs> um... This elf will sort of like go like, who does that to a door? Uh, I I don't know. It's these crazy doors just popping off the hinges. Wild. He'll, um, <laughs> slowly sort of like scramble to his feet. Like he's sort of wheezing all over. Like as you look at this guy, you can see that he's got a um a button up shirt, but it's a short sleeve I'm not shirt. Sure if there's any and he's got a little tie and a hat on. Um, and if you look very close on his left hand side, you can see um, you can see Neverwinter Post <laughs> on his on his shirt. I'll, uh, I'll push the door back up into its frame and then kind of like dust him off and straighten up his shirt. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this shit, you know. Mm, yeah. oh. Oh. This yeah. is, you know, we should definitely look into these doors mad business listen is your name Bravnion um Grotestein? is that any better dude Bravnion Grotestein I'll kind of frown mm, no but I know someone who sounds like that oh it'll like it'll like turn the letter over and it'll say his, it says I'm looking for a red-headed dwarf that looks like you. Oh. Well, yes, it must be me. Oh. Well. Um. This is for you, as he'll hand you over a letter, and then he'll uh, he'll pull out like a little clipboard from behind him, which there is now so cracked in half. So has increased my voice a lot more. So hopefully I'm gonna like talk flat. over them. And he'll say, um, he'll say, just please sign here to confirm receipt. Yes, yes. I'll, uh, I'll kind of look at the paper and then look as though I'm reading it, uh, and then just scroll my name at the bottom. <laughs> right. Um, are you going to read the letter? What's it written in? Um, Dwarvish. Hey, yes, I will read the letter. Cool. As you open this letter, um, you... Um, I'm not written... in the tavern yet. It's but I think quite well done. Like but one you can tell it was written by a dwarf. And it looks like a so you would know from like a your half elf and a that dwarves, another dwarf. Uh, and that's each of the races like so have a sort of unique um, calligraphy style. Right. And dwarven uh, people we literally tend to just really started a lot of session on one. Their calligraphy. So this is um, I kill the bartender. <laughs> yes, <laughs> That but he said, uh, my character is still quite, quite interesting. He, um, it's probably written by someone who has either a substantial amount of money a or was very well thinks educated. he's a dragon. Ooh. Um, as you read this letter, it basically says, whom it may concern, you have been identified as one of the, uh, best employees at the Rockseeker Mining Corporation. As such, ah. we would like to offer you an opportunity to embark on a very lucrative mission 
to supply and provide assistance to the Rockseeker brothers at their latest mining venture. And you would recall from your history as a miner um, that Gundren Rockseeker was your first ever manager and the current owner operator of the Rock Seeking Mining Corporation. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, Brownie will kind of beam as he reads this letter. Um, they kind of snatch it up, shove it in one of his pockets, uh, hand the clipboard back to the elf. Uh, take <laughs> one last look around to make sure there's uh, no one paying too much attention to the broken door. <laughs> and he will march off down the street. Perfect. Uh, it does it. Pro it does provide an address to the Ram's Head Tavern at the very yes. bottom. Yes. What better way to start a day than starting in one tavern and heading straight to another? <laughs> Perfect. And finally, oh, oops, sorry, you'll just excuse me for a moment, guys. I'll be back in one minute. Okay. Oh, All good. Poor elf. I could only think of the uh, that one Shrek scene when you bust down that door. <laughs> Poor little guy. What do you do with it? Be in the car. Possibly. I'll think of anywhere else. Lawful good. <laughs> oh, you guys get a bit of action music for the moment. Revenue and gone in a fight on his way over. See, is lawful good a <laughs> perception? Like. In his mind, by slaying her, is he sticking to his religion, meaning in his eyes he's lawful good? Or is lawful good like the the actual world, what considers you to be lawful good or not? It makes me wonder, is it like your own perception, or is it how the world you sees you? His tone, he loves it. It's my tone because it's got notes in it. Ah. But, we are back. My apologies, everyone. Finally, last but certainly not least, actually not really last but least, but we'll get to our future ones later. We finally come across, as we pan across the city of Neverwinter, a very affluent and rich city, but it's not immune to the plagues of poverty. In our thieves district in the corner of town, uh, we see a purple tiefling currently sort of scrounging between the alleyways, looking at um, uh, currently trying to coax a cat into uh, being friendly with her. Jewel, may you please describe your character? Um, I am a tiefling. My skin is like purpley pink and I've got like light pinky eyes and black horns. Um, wear some like peasant's garb and I'm an arcane trickster rogue. You will like, be. Will be, sorry. <laughs> nice. So, as you're sort of, uh, in the corner of, as you're sort of like trying to coax this cat into being friendly, um, are you going to try to do anything to sort of win it over? Um, I will. I have a couple coins left that I was going to pay for my rent, but I'm going to go look for a new job. So <laughs> I buy a tuna sandwich. <laughs> as you sort of look around in the morning. Uh, you don't really see any stalls around, but you do see, like, a somewhat 
um, homeless woman currently like half half eating a bread roll. <laughs> um, as you sort of like flick these coins around, sort of looking for somewhere to buy it, you notice that she eyes you up immediately. What would you like to do? Um, I offer her the coins in exchange for the bread roll. <laughs> Um, the woman, without even flinching, snatches the coins from you and throws the bread roll at your face, and then runs away. Okay, I take the bread roll and give it to the cat. <laughs> so, can you roll me an animal handling check with advantage? I don't know how to do that. So, you want to open your character sheet, which yeah. is... You know where that is? No. Where you found it. Okay, so open that up, and then you want to click... Um, you want to find animal handling on your skills, hit shift, and then click the little dice with the plus on it. And the plus? Yep. <laughs> nice. Yeah, fuck you. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> with, a nat with a natural 20, this cat will sort of start nibbling at this bread roll. And um, first roll of the fucking day. You're getting that 20. I hate that. <laughs> um, this cat will sort of like nibble on this bread roll and then sort of like do that thing where they sort of walk in between your legs in like a figure of eight to sort of like get pats from you without like touching you, without you touching her. As you're sort of playing with this cat, uh, a poster catches your eye. As you look over, you see a poster of a dwarf who's smiling with a big black beard with gold rings intertwined with a very similar message to the one that Draco saw. Adventure is wanted, good pay, minimal risk, inquire at the Ram's Head Inn. Um, given your financial situation, you look at the um, you the sound of good pay seems very enticing to you. What would you like to do? Um, instead of taking the, one of the little tabs at the bottom, I tear down the poster so nobody else can use the poster and continue on to the ram's head in. Very good. So, such a rogue thing to do. So, I just got back. I can't believe you rolled a nat twenty for your first ever roll. That's what the I... whole game's like, by the way. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you roll that like every time. You can't see his just face right now, but he looks very pissed about that. I do not. I do <laughs> not. Supposed to kill the kill the cat. The cat oh. is supposed to scratch your face. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> okay, so the cat scratches you. It gets infected. You lose your arm. I just, I just have a way with animals. What can I say, Thomas? <laughs> so, Draco, you are the first to arrive at the Ram's Head Inn. As you enter, you see. Given that it's sort of the first thing in the morning, there's a sort of it's a very, it's incredibly empty. There is a um, bartender currently standing behind the standing behind the bar polishing glasses, with a young man sitting on the corner, um, attempting to sort of avoid listening to a drunken old man who's quite fat, just talking his ear off nonstop. It's 9.30 in the morning, and this guy is already obliterated. As you enter the tavern, you see a dwarf sitting at one of the chairs, uh, one of the booths along the side. And standing up next to it, you almost miss it entirely, as it looks almost inanimate. But there is a very slender... Um, what you would only describe as a robot 
currently standing at attention at the corner of the table of the booth. Reggie, can you please describe what you look like? Uh, yeah. Um, you see, he's uh, quite tall, and if uh, he was to be described in one word, it would be gangly. Like, his, his limbs are strangely long, uh, he's all very skinny, um, he appears to have uh, a very small dwarf-sized uh, set of clothes, sort of, just tucked over, like, his torso, and then uh, from maybe, like, the, the stomach down, it's just, uh, he's naked. Um, and he sort he's... of sits there, uh, kind of swishing, like, a, a wooden stick around. No. I, I'm imagining uh, Reggie like he's th these would have been like full dwarven length trousers, but they look like shorts <laughs> on you. Yeah, yeah, he's it's it's obvious that he's wearing clothes that are way too small for him, but they're really baggy. Very nice. Um, Draco, as you are the first to enter, and this is what you see, what would you like to do? Um, I want to go sh like I want to first look around because you know this is. New, this is my first time ever in a tavern. So I'm just going to look around, look to the left, look to the right. I see the, uh, don't really see anything I'm looking for, and then I see this shiny object out to my left, and instantly I'm attracted to it, so I quickly, uh, <laughs> scuttle over to this shiny, tall object. As you make your way in, um, the bartender is going to look up and go, Oi! Race and age. <laughs> um, ignoring what I'm being spoken to about, because the shiny object's drawing my attention, I still scuttle over, almost like almost at the same height of these tables. So I'm like ducking in and out of vision as I'm scuttling along to this uh, tin man. <laughs> And As you sort of move over, this this bartender is going to sort of walk along the bar, sort of trying to get like a look at you, and then he'll go. Um, as you sort of get to the thing, he'll go, "Oi, goblin, what's your age?" Um, I look up at this giant tall thing, and I go, "Oh, you're shiny." Can I keep you? Uh, he gets sort of startled for a second. He tries scanning the room for where that voice came from, and then eventually looks down, uh, sees the little cobalt, sort of scrabbles along, and he's got to grab a little bit of, uh, a little bit of paint from his, I, don't know, I forget what it's called, I think it's a palette. Palette. Dab it on his throat. <clears> Aha, <throat> uh, what, what, what did you need? Oh, I'm, I'm here to collect uh, uh, some rewards for my hoard, and you're you're very shiny. I like shiny. Uh, uh Gundren. <gasps> sort of look over. Oh, Gundren. Yes, that's who I'm after. And as, then, uh, um, as you say that, this dwarf will sort of like look look up from the book that he's reading um sort of like take a sip and just go ah right are you an adventurer hey we want I, I i i guess uh I, I was a miner not long ago and they told me to come find you to to get my hoard Ah, interesting, interesting. Well, take a seat, and we'll wait for some more to arrive. But, pleasure to meet you. The name's Gundren, as he'll sort of, like, lean up from his seat, and as he sort of, like, reaches down to shake your hand, the as you feel, like, your teeny tiny little cobalt hand just get engulfed in this... It 
almost feels like he's wearing a glove made of sandpaper. His hands are that coarse. Uh, uh, um, Master as, Gundren. As he shakes your hand, this bartender will come around and just um, like walk straight over to you and go, Gundren, you know this little one? And Gundren will sort of look back and say, Ah, no, but he's, he seems to be of good ilk. Don't throw him out just yet. And he'll sort of like look over at you and sort of just like suss you out and just say, I'm going to ask you one more time, mate. Can I get your race and age? Oh, oh I, I'm a dragon and I'm 17. Actually, I think I'm right, supposed right, to be. I think I'm supposed to be 19, actually. Cool. Right, right, right. He'll say as he sort of like like comes back around. As he gets back around to the bar, he like leans down and pulls out a massive book, and just sort of like slams it down on the bar. And as he like flicks through, he's like, <laughs> "Yep, yep, you're all good. All right." Um, it is about at this time. Oh wait, wait, hold up. Grab me in. You enter. Uh, before we do that, um, yes. I, uh, um, Gundren, I, I was told to give you this, and I reach into my cloak and I, I pull out a, a ragged letter. It, this is from Tholgar. He, he's in the mines to the north. He sent me here. He told me to find you. And I hand over a, a just a small letter, um, and it kind of just looks like a, a poorly written, like reference. <laughs> ah, hey, well, you know, any, um, any reference from Volgar is good enough for me, I say. Um, how long were you up in the mines in Holt now? Uh, I was, I was up there probably, oh, just a few months, but they, they showed me what to do, and they fed me, and, and I helped mine, mine lots and lots of stuff, and, and then they said, uh, if I'm looking to build up my horde, I should come seek out you. you you're you like the horde master. Right, well, I don't know. I'm not too sure how much help you're going to be mining, but, you know, we might be useful to getting into the little cracks and crevices like this old bugger used to do. <laughs> As he sort of, like, taps, um, taps uh, Darrow on the shoulder and, like, the rings on his fingers... Make this big, like, clink, clink, as it hits you. I sort of, uh, look over, like, swivel my head over to Gundry. Back to the kobold. Uh, <laughs> yes. Instantly hearing that clicking metal noise, it, like, piques my interest and my face lights up again. <sighs> can, 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 I, can I sit with you, metal man? Sure. Uh, sure. I look so uncomfortable right now. <laughs> every every like three seconds, I like look over towards you, and and then look forward again, and then look back over towards you. I'm just staring back at you. Uh, Bravnian, it is about this point that you would arrive. Like a cool guy. Is it, is it double doors? Yes. Like a cool guy, I open both of them at the same time. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> march into the room. Uh, where I'll kind of glance around. Um, notice uh, Gundren in the corner. Sorry, how do you pronounce it? Gundren. Gundren. Yeah. Gundren. Yeah. Okay, cool. Gundren. Notice Gundren in the corner. Uh, and immediately I'll just throw both hands up and go, Ah! Gundren! Good to see you! I hear you got work! Wrap me on your bastard! <laughs> he'll sort of like get he'll he'll get up and um give you one of those big like bro handshakes. Yes. And then Bradman <laughs> will turn that bro handshake into a bro hug. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm clapping him on the back, laughing. Oh, that, so, I haven't seen you since you were last at that mine at um fuck, where were you again? I don't remember. You've been fucking uh, everywhere. I don't think I had a name. 
that. You're at that mine in the um. Fuck yeah, uh, yes, the uh, spine of the world. Uh, I haven't been there for some time now. I went and did some mercenary work. It uh, oh. it was all right. I'm looking out for myself now these days. Ah, uh, you know, you can only um. You can only rely on yourself these days. Well, that and that and family. You know how it is. Hey. Well, go so, on. What's that? Was uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what, what's this job you've got? And I'll kind of look over at the other two and go. Ah, is that the robot? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and what's the cobra? I I, I picked this um. I found this lad at uh at the docks. Got dropped off from uh, one of those ships heading out to Ebron. Aye, Ebron. Yep, that's uh, me. It talks. Aye, you and me. Doesn't say too much, but we're going to have fun. <laughs> I'll give the robot a big <laughs> smile. Uh, no, walk up to the bar. He'll sort of like come over with you to sort of like grab a drink. Um, the bartender will the bartender will come over to serve you guys. He, he looks up to go to ask you the old race and age uh, question, takes one look at you, and then immediately recognizes you as someone who has frequented this tavern many times. <laughs> and doesn't seem to worry and just goes, Two ales, boy? Ah, you know me so well. Sort of thing. As uh, your drink's being poured and sort of you and you're conversing with Gundren about. Um, like how long it's been and sort of reminiscing, he'll look over and be like, I don't know how long, how well those two, those two little ones are going to do in the mine, but look after them, will ya? Yeah, I'll do my best. Can't make no promises though. You know how things go. Right, right. Um, this bartender will drop them down. Um, Gundren will just flick him, uh, some silver pieces. And you both head back to the table. Sweet. And last but not least, Elfie, you arrive at the tavern. Mm-hmm. What do you do? I walk over to the table and I slam down the poster and say, I heard you were looking for some workers. Oh, um, you're absolutely right, Lassie. Go on, take a seat. Are you an adventurer? You could say that. Very well, very well. Um, just a quick, quick question for everyone involved. Obviously, Bradley and I know you very well. Um, and Daro, I've had a, a few chats with you over the last couple of days, but to the wee fella and the purple lass, um, where were you employed before here? Employed is a loose term. Ah, uh, did, did you did you work for yourself? You could say that. Ah, an entrepreneur, lovely. I started off as an entrepreneur. Just me and me brothers. How about you, little one? Oh, uh, yeah, I was in one of your mines to the north. Um, uh, I've forgotten the name of it, but. It it was very fun. The the dwarves are really fun to hang around, and they gave me this cool little sharp thing, and I they'd hit rocks and they'd they'd laugh and and they they really liked having me around. Right, right. Well, as some of you know from the posters around town and everyone else that I've uh, reached out to. I've got a job running. Shouldn't take too long, but the pay is good, the work is honest, and you shouldn't be in too much trouble. Basically, me and my brothers are, for those who don't know me, the name's Gundren Rockseeker. I run a little successful mining operation around the Sword Coast. Brevin and the... <laughs> catches himself and then <laughs> takes a drink. 
the moment we're looking at um uh as we've normally been mining for quite quite extensively the last couple of years i think we've stumbled onto something big now i don't know of any user from around here but has anyone here heard of the wave echo cave and everyone can roll me a history check if they would like uh, to recall information they might have heard about this location. Uh, Darrow, you can make yours with disadvantage, being that you're not from here. Quick question. So, I have a... Uh, that. Would that come into play with talking about a cave? Sure. Yeah. The one and only time this will be used. <laughs> uh, okay, so this will be plus two. Wow, never mind. Don't worry about it. Everybody's <laughs> too busy drinking. <laughs> he is he is eyeing up the uh, the other at the table and not paying attention. As he sort of mentions the Wave Echo Cave, um, and looks at all your faces with this sort of blank expression. Oh, um, Jill, can you roll me history? I did. She did. did you? She got five. My five. It's um, above my stone cannon. I, I rolled oh, a ten. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. I, I yeah, rolled so a ten. With your, with your ten, you don't really recall too much about this. Like, you, you've definitely heard the name before. And, um, given... And you heard it around, um in your dragon related interests for like looking for valuable goods. Um, as the rest of you sort of give this blank expression as he mentions the way Mecco cave, he'll sort of look and go, surely you know about the way of Echo cave. Uh, no? Brett, I mean, we'll that continue giving a blank expression. Tholgar mentioned it once. He, he said, oh, they found this wave echo cave and but yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, do I have a story for you? Gather out. Bunches in a little closer. Um, many years ago, there were clans of dwarves and gnomes that made an agreement known as the Fandelver Pact. The Fandelver Pact was an agreement that we would all share in the riches of this wondrous cavern known as the Wave Echo Cave. This was a this was a cavern filled with various gems such as diamonds, rubies, amethysts, veins of gold as thick as your arm. But also it had a sense of magic to it. A couple of human spellcasters allied themselves with these dwarves and gnomes to channel and bind that energy into a great forge. This was called the Forge of Spells. The Forge of Spells was used to create these amazing magic items. And in that time, it was incredibly prosperous. And the town of Fandolin prospered with it. But then, these bastard bandits came in, reinforced by evil mercenary wizards. They attacked the cave, stole the riches and all the treasure. The wizards fought alongside the dwarves and gnomes to defend the forge of spells, and the ensuing battle destroyed much of the cavern. And very few survived the cave-in and tremors that led, that followed. And the knowledge of the wave echo cave was lost. But, as he slams his hand on the table, I think me and me brothers have found it. I have this map, and he'll um, sort of like pull up to the side and like unfurl this map along the um, tabletop. Not like all the way, but just enough to sort of give you guys a brief view. Um, even for Dwarvish, um, Bravnian, you can barely decipher what's on this map. 
and he'll say, so, what we need at the moment is we have the location, but we lack the tools to get in. So, me and my brothers have organized for a wagon full of um, mining explosives, pickaxes, water, food, rations, supplies, to be brought into the town of Fandolin. Once it's there, me and me brothers will take it to the Wave Echo Cave and start mining. If we break in, we might need your assistance then. Now, where are you all coming to this? Unfortunately, our shipments have been attacked as we bring it along the Tribor Trail towards the town of Fandolin. I need four incredibly strong and tough adventurers to protect me shipment along the way so that I can reach the town of Fandolin safely. Safely. If you do this, I can pay you very handsomely. And we get to keep some shinies, right? Well, well, I'll be paying you in gold. Raven kind of like nod along, <laughs> look to the door, and with a uh, complete serious expression, say, "So, uh, when are the other three getting here?" <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh. I'm sure we'll have a, a good old time. Now, salary will be as follows. I have 100 gold for you now, and another 400 gold pieces for when you arrive in the town of Phandalin. Whew. That is on the basis that all these goods remain intact, and he'll look at you and say that the wine remains undrunk, and then don't he'll look, look over like at that. the little... I don't drink wine. And, and then he'll look over at the little cobo and say, and that all the chrome on the tools stays on. <laughs> with, with a little bit of disappointment uh, okay we can't have all the shinies <laughs> right so if you do all of you agree to this I I yes <laughs> <laughs> yes I will gladly Wonderful. protect it Wonderful. As he slams his mug on the table and just skulls his drink and says, well, how about a round for the table? Hey, another! <laughs> another. He will head over and start um, and order a round of drinks for the table for everyone. And in his very like stubby but very strong dwarven hands sort of scoop them all up and drop them back. Um, he only brings back four because he looks at the robot and says, I don't, I don't know if you're a drinker or if, if you need oil or if you need lubrication of some sort, but I thought maybe ale would not be the best. So, uh, you, you thought right. Right, right. Well, my associate Silda will be here shortly. Um, I believe he's just organizing some oxen to go tow the, tow the supplies. Once he gets here, me and him are going to head off to Fandolin, and once the supplies finish loading up, you can head out there as well. What say you? Sounds good to me. I'm in. Is, is this drink for me? Well, I wouldn't have put it in front of you if it wasn't for you. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> try to when... try, try to take are. a try to take a sip of it and uh, realize I really do not like the taste of it, and I kind of like cough and splutter and uh, it, it it doesn't taste good. Thank you, though. <laughs> drink up. When... It tastes better the more you drink. Takes another drink and coughs and starts. Oh, 
No, no. Better, right? No. You have it. No. You, you have it. And I, and I like push it over in front of you. You like it. It's good. The breath name shrug and take it and chuck it. <laughs> yes, Dar. When, uh, when, when do we leave, Gunjan? Well, um, my associate will be arriving shortly with the, um, uh, wagon and the oxen. After that, me and him will set off. And then, uh, once the wagon finishes loading, you are free to go whenever you like. Understood. Uh, a moment later, you hear the doors open behind you as a what looks like a knight walks through the doors. I say looks like a knight as he's wearing the appropriate accoutrement of a um, sort of chainmail shirt with like a leather tunic over the top emblazoned with a almost harlequin red and yellow pattern. Um, he's got a long sword at his side, but as you look at him, you notice he is quite old. Like, most knights would probably stop working in their probably late 30s, 40s. This man is definitely in his early 50s. And as he comes in, Gundren will look over and say, Ah, Sildar, over here. And he'll come over and uh, he'll come over and just sort of stand at attention, very affir very affirmatively, and just say, "The oxen and wagon have arrived, sir. Um, I've tasked all the vendors to come and deliver the supplies. They should be they should finish loading up in approximately eight hours. Unfortunately, there was a small delay with our um, food and rations, so we have to we have to wait for them to come all the way from the other side of uh, Neverwinter." But we can head off whenever you're ready. And he'll just sort of say, Ah, well, unfortunately it is how it is. I hope you hope you lads don't mind lads and lasses and lasses don't mind um, waiting around a few hours to finish that loading and then you'll be right to head off either in the afternoon or first light the next day. As he sort of like Shuffles past you, grab me in to stand up. And we'll say, like, um, uh, if you make, once you make your way to the town of Fandolin, if you drop, if you head into Barton's for provisions, um, Elmina will be happy to pay you. Well, we're going to take our leave. We'll see you in Fandolin. Haha. <laughs> And he'll give Bra uh, he'll give Bravney a big pat on the back, and a light sort of almost like a, a as much as a dwarf can bow because they're so stumpy. He'll sort of like try to bow at the um, tiefling, and him and Sildar will head out. So, you guys have. Um, about eight hours until the wagon finishes um, filling. Uh, at, if you go out and check on the wagon, you'll see that every like hour or so, a couple of hirelings will arrive with various crates and sacks and um, chests full of uh, tools and supplies as they slowly load it onto this oxen, this oxen wagon. You guys have a bit of time to kill. What would you like to do? Ah, uh, that uh, that Goldrin guy is really nice. He's a lot like Tholgar. Very, very good dwarf. <laughs> very nice to me. If you say so. Uh, hey, uh, Cobalt. Huh? What? What Cobalt? Uh, well, uh, what are you? I'm I'm a dragon. It's it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Look at the robot. <laughs> Puzzled. Uh, dra dragon. Oh yes, yes, shiny man. Why were you 
touching me before. You're, you're so shiny. I, I kind of want to add you to my horde. Yeah, I'm sorry. I Dude. kind of look around confused. Is that a, like, kink thing or what? No, no, no. Do, do, do you want to join my horde? I'm not entirely sure. It could be. Is, is this like code for something? It's a, it's a dragon's horde. It's it's where we keep all of our shiny things. Oh. Okay. Um. I, I don't want to join your horde. Ah. I'll, I'll I'll ask you later. You may change your mind. I I'm a pretty fabulous dragon, and and you 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 come to see that. Uh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Brad will kind of like open his mouth to say something, close it, open it again, and think better of it. <laughs> Just close it. Uh, so, uh, purple lady? Elfie? El Elfie. Um, do, do you like have a horde too, or? No, I don't have much of anything at the moment. Uh, we're we're the same. We're we're both looking for a horde. What about you, dwarf? Are you looking for a horde? In a matter of speaking. Sorry, I I don't believe I got your names. Um, you uh, dragon. Yeah, uh, they they what call me called? they call me Draco. Hello, dragon. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I am a drake. They call me Draco. Ah, yeah, uh, Draco. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, what, what's your name? Uh, I am Bravnian. Uh, although my friends call me Brave. Not ah. that I don't have many friends. Bravnian. <laughs> do, do family count? Uh, I'd say they count. Ah, then I have four. Four friends. Yes. Uh, well, um, Darrow, and you, uh, Elfie, right? Elfie, yeah. I, I kind of lean over the bravery on. I'm like, what's up with the tin man and the matchstick? I'm not sure. This could be some kind of test, perhaps. <laughs> Um, a couple hours into you guys getting to know each other, I imagine you guys are probably getting a couple of drinks or, you know, just waiting for it to load up. You see a very skinny... I want to... You sort of can't really tell how old this boy is. He, like, he's... He could be anywhere between 14 to 19. He's incredibly skinny. He's got a bowl cut. Um, he's wearing yeah. like very nice. He's very nicely dressed, um, but uh, the clothing is not fitting him very well due to the massively oversized armor he's wearing. You can see that like he's got some chainmail armor on that's extending past his wrist, like halfway down his hand, like an oversized hoodie. And um, the sword around his, uh, the sword and sheath around his waist is drooping so low it's dragging along the ground. And as he stumbles into the, the bar, he'll be like, um, "Is this where the adventurers are?" <laughs> Friend, shoot a look back at Elfie. <laughs> they go. Uh no, I, I believe they went uh, out there, down the road. The next pub. Yes, oh. what she said. Guys, but... You guys roll me deception. We're, we're adventurers. <laughs> the uh, thing that I'm good at. Let's go! Trick hit me right now. That's a 10. <laughs> I'm not in team Jesus. <laughs> He's gonna go... <laughs> help me carry <Karen> hard. <laughs> He's, he's gonna go, oh no, I've bloody missed it, haven't I? 
Oh no, Papa's gonna kill me. Why does he sound like Ron? Please, please. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do voice. He does a little. I like it. Uh, I thought we were the adventurers. Yeah, we are. I face palm. He's gonna come over to you guys. He's gonna come over to you guys and be like, "Are you guys doing a job for the for the Gundren Rock Seeker?" Completely ignoring this kid, I'm gonna lean over to a uh, Darrow, <laughs> like put my put my shoulder, uh, put my elbow on the table, and just dead serious go. When we lie to people we don't know, uh, as a group, it works better when it's the whole group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Gundren, uh, he's a really good dwarf. We just spoke to him. He gave us a cool oh, mission. These people. <laughs> They're going to help me get my horde. Oh, that sounds awfully scary. Yes, my name is Pavel. Oh, of course it is. Oh, it, it won't be scary. My, fa so, my father said that if I don't get a job, he's going to kick me out of the house. I saw a poster along the wall that said that this wouldn't be too dangerous. I think this is the wrong job for you, mate. <laughs> Please! I can't be homeless. It's Look at how thin I am, I'll waste away. <laughs> it's going to be an easy mission. You have a brave dragon at your side. Uh, are we allowed to... Just accept him. Uh, I can't look over the, the party. Uh, I suppose um, perhaps we could take him. I can, I can take the extra weight. I promise I, I can I can handle myself as he pulls this long sword out of his sheath. It's clearly way too big and heavy for him as it sort of like wobbles around. And as he's like trying to hold it up, he, oh, and it like sort of like his wrist bends and it like just smacks under the table, like missing your hand, missing Bravenian's hands by maybe like two centimeters. Without batting an eye, can I just like plant my fist at the top of the blade to stop it from going anywhere? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh! Sorry about that, Mr. Dwarf. Uh, the pay is shit, but perhaps you could be... Are you good at anything? Oh, I can, um... I can read and write. That's I can, I can, um... I can <laughs> play the pan flute. Um, I have me father's sword. But... I mainly just need work so I don't get kicked out of the house. Oh, do, do you have any shinies for Draco? Oh, I've got, um... He, uh, like, sort of, like, pulls, like, a small coin pouch out of his, um... Out of his, uh... Pay us to give him a job? Out of his, out of his pocket, and, like, as he does, like, it's... He, he like fumbles around with the bag and just all these silver pieces just like sprawl across the table. I kind of like slide some <laughs> under the table into my pocket. I will, you know what? Any that land in front of me, I'll scoop up into a pile. Yeah. <laughs> this guy, this guy I, is so clueless. Like you don't even need to roll if you're trying to be stealthy. Like he's just oh. I, I want to grab a few. Like sorry, I should say my nose. I want to grab a few. And hold them in my hand, look at him and go, Thank you for adding to my horde. You should you should join our party. <laughs> cool. Um everyone who wants to grab some can take five silver pieces and add them to their inventory. I will give him back whatever I got. <laughs> oh Thank Grab you, my lord. Down. It's not okay to punch down. <laughs> Well, I'm a dwarf, he normally only punches up. <laughs> so if you go to um, your character sheet, um, when you go to your character sheet, if you go to your inventory... A little bit no, oh, so sorry, get out of that. Seeing the dwarf hand the coins back to the man, I look at the dwarf and be like, You're never gonna get a big hoard if you keep giving away your shinies! Yeah, so you wanna go... 
Okay. And some things are more important. Oh, sorry, five. Shinies. And Nothing's more important than getting a horde. Oh. You're uh, right. Um, quite so certain that you've been a dragon thing, aren't you? But what makes I you think will... you're a dragon? I'm. It... Look at me. I'm. I'm. I'm a dragon. I'm not... But uh, say I was a uh, a blind man. What would make me think you were a dragon? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. Well, I, sh I have a, a, I obviously as a dragon, I can do a dragon roar, and, and and I can I can breathe fire, and 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 yeah, I'm I'm a dragon. Oh great! You can roast marshmallows for us. I do like marshmallows. Ah, uh, my my dra my fire's hot like a like a ferocious. Red dragon, but I'm not one of those evil red dragons. No, no, no. But 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 by a, a strong heat, very hot. Excuse me, Mr. Bartender. Do you have any diet ginger ale? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he is gonna die, like immediately. <laughs> the bartender can, I, can, I, can I suss out roughly, like? <laughs> Can I kind of figure out how sturdy he might be on a scale sure. of like one to maybe like eight? I don't even think sure. the the scale shouldn't even you, go up there. You, you should can, do like from one to five. The scale does not reach roll, eight. You can roll like insight. Actually, you know what? You can make a make a just make a constitution check hey, just to like okay. suss out his con. That is a thirteen, twelve. 12. With a 12, you can look at this man child looks so feeble. He cannot have more than two hit points. Oh, God. He, he is a. <laughs> he is weak even for, like, a commoner. He would be weak. Are you, um. Are you, are you sure if you want to come with us? You know, the, oh, I... regardless if the job is dangerous, uh, traveling on the roads, who knows what oh. could happen. And oh, by the looks of things, a, a nasty breeze might knock you down. Oh, gosh, I hope not. I'm terrified of the wind. <laughs> Probably but... first times. Father said that I must get work or else I'll get kicked out of home. Uh, so I'm, I'm thinking, come do this job. Make a, make a little bit of coin, please, Father. And then hopefully he'll let me go back to pursuing my career to be a pan flutist. GM, Tommy. Yes. What is, can, like, how much would the average commoner spend a week to, like, live? The average commoner, maybe, like, oh like a gold a week okay i um rummage around in the sack that gundren just gave us and i'm gonna plop uh 50 gold down at the end of the table <laughs> <laughs> my, my eyes was light that up 100 gold each, each or was that 100 gold no 100 gold for the the group <gasps> oh well oh. <laughs> we each have 25 then yes he can just, if, I'll plop my 25 on the end then. Yep, so everyone, if you want to split it evenly, everyone can add 25 goals to their inventory. Oh, um, I'm not giving away that much. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, what, why don't you take this and keep going with the pan flu? <laughs> what? what? Why are you giving away your shinies? You, you guys aren't even after a horde, are you? Oh. No. He, um, you see him, like, visibly start to sweat and, like, hyperventilate. He goes, like, if father finds out I've lied, he'll give me the cane again. Please don't make me lie. Why don't you play your... Play, play us a song. Yes, yes. Play us a song. He will, um reach into his um 
reach into his bag and pull out like a little pan flute and he'll just start like playing away a tune for you guys. You can hear it in the background. Is any good? <laughs> He's quite good. Oh. After a, about a minute, I'll say, now that that's enough. That was wonderful. I would like to pay you 25 gold for that performance. What, what do you mean, wonderful? It was terrible. You should use that as a weapon on the <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> you, don't, you'll don't make... listen to our friend. He thinks he's something else. You, Why you, you'll you make all the enemies that? flee. Here, uh, take it. And he'll sort of like he'll seconds. sort of like look down at you and just sort of be like, "Is this a lot of gold?" It's uh twenty five. <laughs> I I think that'll is, get you by. Is that a lot? As you look at him, you realize like this this child has come from quite a lot of wealth. Oh. Huh. he's a like. He's a, um, like, as you look at his clothes um, and finery, you notice that the chainmail, despite being grossly oversized, is incredibly well made. And the, um, the sword in his, um, the, uh, the sword in its, uh, oh, I guess it's not in a sheath, it's currently sitting on the thing. The hilt of his sword and handle is very intricately designed. Uh, well, that's more gold than I've ever held in my life. Oh. I... I don't think Father would approve of this. Oh. Oh. Can I make a persuasion check? You absolutely can. Moment. Okay. Um. Well, he's going to sort of look at this and say, "Um, I greatly appreciate you doing this for me. I will never forget this." And he'll say, "Like, what, what's 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 your name?" Creature? Uh, uh, um, Darrow. When I, when I'm a famous flautist, I shall name all of my songs after you. That's... Well, that get rather confusing. I will, <laughs> I will include a numerical system <laughs> to differentiate. Seems That's like a lot of effort. It's as very he, flattering. Just say. as he attempts to scoop up this gold, like it's sort of like spilling everywhere as he does. Like he gets most of it into his pouch, and will just like sort of like repeatedly bow as he um uh, as he uh, sort of like backs away, saying, "Thank you. I will. I'll never forget this." Did he drop any of oh. the coins as he was scooping it? Yeah, there's like four gold coins on the floor. <laughs> I, I I look at Darrow and I'm like, can I have? Uh, yeah, go for it. But before <laughs> before he even finished saying yeah, I already dove down to the ground and <laughs> scooped them up and and oh more shinies. And then I sit back up in the chair and I'm just looking at them and reflecting their light in the uh their, their shininess in the light and biting them and. Yeah. Oh, and and I want to turn to the group and say, we we should have kept him. His uh his battle noises would have scared all the enemies away. Would have made our trip much safer. Very nice. Uh, I, I guess while we wait, um, Bradman will just kind of ask everyone kind of what they're good at. Try good at. Um... 
a read on the group. Absolutely. If anyone would like to discuss their class and skills, please feel free to do so. Well, I'm I'm a dragon, so I can I can do everything a dragon can do. All right, uh, Daryl, what what can you do? Uh, well, recently I've taken up painting. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can lean over to Elfie. Do you think it's too late to get a new goat? Maybe. <laughs> Here. Uh, Never too late. Watch this. And I'll scoot over so that there's a space between the kobold and I. And I will cast Minor Illusion to just make another kobold sitting there. <laughs> I'll take oh. my paintbrush out and I sort of brush him into existence. Uh, see? You made That's another cool. dragon! That's quite the new trick. Thanks. But that was with your paint? I'm confused now. Oh, what's confusing? How How did you paint that? But Could I do that? Uh, I turned to a... <laughs> give, <laughs> give it a try. Could you do that? Wait, uh, is is Daryl offering his paintbrush? Yeah, yeah, I hand over my uh, stuff. I'll reach over, I'll take it, and then, <laughs> without skipping a beat, I will draw the biggest smiley face uh, on Draco's forehead <laughs> to see if anything happens. On, on, on Draco's illusion, or Draco? Uh, on Draco. Oh, I'm just trying to lean across and assault you with a paintbrush. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Hold still. No, no! I'm trying to make magic, hold still! Can, can I try and roll, like, scurry away under the table to my left? I'll grapple it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Please don't it. break my stuff. Go for it. I remember, um... Draco, you you have that squat nimbleness. Ah, you fuck. <laughs> That's under a feature and trait, isn't it? Yeah, but I believe it just means that you just roll it with advantage, I think, to escape. Okay, so I, I do an... Little devil. You may do an athletics, double athletics? So athletics I think or it's acrobatics, whatever it's athletics or acrobatics. Oh, whatever you, like, if you wanted to... Yeah, whatever you would like to roll. Out of the ground. Yeah. That was my first roll. I might, I might as well just stick with that, eh? Uh, with that, I kind of do like a little bit of a, a backflip, kind of like Yoda did um, in the second prequel, <laughs> and then I, then I scurry under the table to the left, <laughs> and I'm like, back, will, like, back off you, a little bit, get a shadow, get back here, <laughs> back uh, off you mean that. dwarf. <laughs> Turn back and I'll hand Dara back his stuff. And, uh, maybe I'll try again later. Yeah, um, thanks. <clears throat> uh, watching uh, the dwarf sit back down, I, I come back over to the seat, and I look, the illusion's still there, right? Uh, yeah? Yeah, I, I look a bit close, I'm like, wait a second, you had me tricked, that's no dragon, that's a cobalt! <laughs> uh, no, I, I drew a dragon. Ah, oh, you're, you're a bad painter. That's, uh, insensitive. Ah, uh, so, um, sorry. I, uh, I happen to think you're quite a good painter. Thanks, uh, I, I think... Representation. Uh, thank you, uh, it's the new, uh, skill for me, but I, I quite enjoy it. What about you, uh, Elfie? What what can you do? Um, I kind of use my thaumaturgy to make the lights flicker and dim. Whoa! Ah, oh. You can make it temporarily dark. Yeah. If you're like me. <laughs> and then you have some 
gold pieces meet missing from your pocket while it was dark. <laughs> oh, you, wait, are you gonna try to pickpocket? Are you gonna try to pickpocket it? Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> while it's dark, uh, so make a sleight of hand check. Where's that? So I go to your it. skills. Yeah, okay. and go roll sleight of hand. <laughs> so good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, uh, I think I just managed to notice that. <laughs> I, I reckon I she gets to do as well. It's dark. Actually, yeah. No, if it is dark, my passive perception's like a minus five. Um, and you don't oh, have yeah, and you don't have dark vision. I have dark vision. Yeah, but it's only um, it's still dim. Oh, dim light. Oh, I know. Well, I guess it's only dim light, so you would have full yeah. thing. Yeah. So as you um as you feel these lights dim and you feel this hand sort of like run like you feel this hand dip into your pouch. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I was just showing you what I can do. <laughs> Pull my pouch out. And count my gold. <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep a closer eye on this. I think. <laughs> no. Very clearly, I, I like point a big fat finger at you. <laughs> I know exactly how much gold is in this. Where? Okay. Gold okay. is missing. I'll come asking you. <laughs> okay. Be a rogue, man. First session of D and D, and be stealing from her players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Canon event. It, it is a canon event. The rogue yeah. steals from their friends. <laughs> that would have been really funny if you actually got my stuff. Mm. I was all for it. Uh, sh uh, sh shiny man, I I I, I want to say sorry. You you're not a bad painter. You're just very new. It it's okay. You didn't hurt my feelings. Uh, ah, thank you, Bra thank you, Bravnian. You're yes. the leader of this group. Uh, what what can you do? I'm uh, I'm rather good in a scrap. Big, strong for a dwarf, even. So, about where my talents end. Oh. Well, that's useful. <laughs> so blunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, we shall be off then. I'm go see if this wagon's yeah. ready. So, as the hours pass along, um, you do hear like the sounds of like things being dropped into um, the wagon out the front. As you all make your way to the front, um, just as it's finishing, uh, just as everything's getting finished, loading up, as you're like making your way. So two people can sit on the front of this wagon, and being that it's being towed by oxen, it only moves at a walking pace. So you theoretically can walk alongside it if you want, or you can sit on the back or up at the front. I will walk. Where's the uh, where's the cobalt going? Um, I'm gonna. I want to sit at the front. Bravin's gonna sit at the back. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you guys are getting ready to load up, um, can everyone make me a perception check? A, another thing I'm good at. This is the first character I've ever made who doesn't have proficiency in perception, by the way. This feels wrong. Hmm. <laughs> Five. As you, um, god, 18. Darrow, as you are getting ready to load up, as you're like helping finish load everything up, down the street you see a man walking um, very quickly towards you guys and very sternly, and he's holding the ear of Pavel oh, no. as he as he walks towards you guys. Oh, shit! Well, uh, it looks like we have trouble coming. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, I didn't see that. My bad. I take it back. <laughs> I kind of look around and then uh, go to go to meet the man. And he'll say, "Hey, are you the machine that paid my boy to pay, to play the flute?" Yes, he played a very good performance. 
no son of mine is going to be a pen flute playing pansy as he like smacks him across the back of the head. Wait. My boy is going to earn a fair wage and he is going to do it with you. Now, Pavel, give this man back his gold. And as he as Pavel will like very like gingerly like sort of walk towards you like a kid that's been like caught out. Like, he's not even looking at you, Dara, as he like holds his pouch like towards you and says like, I'm sorry for taking this without earning it. It's fine. C come over here. And instead of grabbing the pouch, I sort of cuff him by the, or grab him by the shoulder and drag him behind me. <laughs> is, is there anything else you need? That's all. Make sure he pulls his weight. Oh, a a angry man. Thank you for bringing him back. His music is quite painful. I think we can use it to, to hurt our enemies. He'll sort of like look at you with a little bit of disgust as he's like, oh. And, go, and, then he'll, and then he'll be like, Pavel, I'm off. Too many non-humans in these parts. And uh, then as, as, as he goes to sort of, talkers. as he goes to walk away, he's like, sort of like puts his finger right on Pavel's face and like, is like, do not bring shame to our family, you little inbred boy. And then we'll In walk, and then he'll walk away. Can I, uh, inbred. have a look around? The ox are here, right? So, yeah, so the oxen would be like, sort of like, yeah, right about. Cool. Yeah. How long have they been waiting here? So... The oxen's been waiting here for a f quite a few hours as it's been loaded up with stuff. So it's a, a fair guess that they've like shat in that general I, area. I knew where you were going the moment you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a turn of phrase. Uh, you right, know how what? much shit is on there, the ground, DM? There, there is a significant amount of shit on the ground. <laughs> cool. Uh, Bravner would like to march over, scoop oh. up a big handful of shit, and then huck it at the back of this nobleman's head as he walks oh away. Oh god. Oh god. Make, god. It, make an attack roll oh with advantage because he's not looking at you <laughs> as he walks away. Uh, that's... Do I actually have an unarmed strike? Yeah, my unarmed strike is the same as my improvised weapon. So. Yeah. So this won't be this won't be for damage. This is just a hit. That's yeah. fine. I don't care. I don't intend this to do damage. I just yeah. You I don't sort like of like you wind this up like a baseball pitch and just pelt it at the back of his head, and it hits him so hard he almost falls over. Like as he stumbles, <laughs> and then we'll go. Oh, animals. This won't, this won't be, he'll like sort of shout at you from a distance and be like, You haven't seen the last of me! Isn't that what you shouted at your cousin? <laughs> <laughs> then he'll, oh, my, you'll be hearing from my, you'll be hearing from my solicitor! Um, oh how no, the damn's a lawyer, I might actually be in trouble. <laughs> um, <laughs> how many, how many feet away is he? He's about 30 feet away now. I'm going to dust my hands off. Hmm. Okay, uh, yeah, no, so... Oh, are you doing something, Draco? No, he's he's not worth my time. A wise decision. Uh... As, the, as, um, as uh, Constantine storms away, Pavel just goes... Pavel will, like, come up to you, grab me, and be like, I like it when you threw the poo at my dad. <laughs> so did I. It, <laughs> it seems like he deserved it. <laughs> right. So, um, let's all head off. And I persuade Pavel to get a smaller sword or a smaller weapon. That's can actually you, an excellent you, idea. Yeah, you can ask him if um. Uh, you can ask him about his weaponry, if you want. Okay. Um, and he'll sort of be like, where can I get another sword? We can go to the weapon shop. Oh, oh. the weapon shop. 
my favorite place other than the tavern. <laughs> Come, oh, let it us won't go. cost as much as a sword mm. though. <laughs> having a small weapon than that. Yeah. Um, Brav Neon, being a local of this town, like you know that there's a couple of armor um, weaponsmiths in the nearby area. Cool. Yeah. Can... Uh, is there any that I know like better than the rest? Is there any that I would know better than the rest? Um, that's sort of up to you. Not really. Like it's sort of a you just know the general area, like where they all, all are. Right. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll just march the kid. Um, and anyone else who would like to come <laughs> to the closest blacksmith. Um, sure. So you do that. Um, you find one not to. Given that this is like a major capital city, it's you can't really miss it. They're sort of every. It's the kind. Of, uh, in Neverwinter, blacksmiths are kind of like McDonald's. Like they, there's like one every like couple of blocks. Uh, you make your way in, and you see like a pretty modest armory, nothing too flashy, um, and you do see several short swords, um, like in racks uh, near the entrance. I might ask him if he knows how to. I mean, he's not going to know how to use a short sword. Hmm. Oh. Um, as you ask him that, he'll sort of like take one off the rack and just like, Aha! and like will like stab forward and like, you, like. As a seasoned f f soldier, you would know, like, this is horrific form. Did a rapier work better? I I, I don't think it... <laughs> I think it's best, but it's just going to go with the dagger, because I believe, like, next to everything has proficiency with at least a dagger. <laughs> um, at a character... Maybe even a club? Wait, at, uh, at a, let's just buy him. Hmm? At, at a character, though, if he's from a noble family, he may actually may know how to fence. I don't um, think he knows how to fence. <laughs> <laughs> it's considered an art. <laughs> it's also 25 That's gold fair. to buy a rapier. Ooh. Yeah. So, so you can ask him, and he'll say, and he'll go, Oh no, I, um, father wouldn't let me join fencing club. Said I wasn't manly enough. I don't know where he would have ever got that impression. <laughs> I say. Uh, with a horrible, horrible blatant lie. As he's like, um, like folding this like little short sword to like try to like stab, as he like, sh like stabs forward, he's almost prancing as he does it, and he's like, ha ha, how about thee? Oh my god, he's gonna die. <laughs> Would it take very long for me to teach him how to um, use it? It wouldn't be easy. Like, just looking at the general gumbiness of this kid, it, like, you could certainly try if you wanted to teach him. But it would take quite a few days of pretty intense learning. You know, I'm down um, for that. Okay. I'm sure. Cool. Um, looking so, in this... Um, sorry, looking in this blacksmith, is there happen to be, like, a, a large wooden barrel with a whole bunch of, like, swords sitting in it, kind of like a... A bulk sword section. Um, as you ask the the blacksmith there, he'll be like, "I guess you're looking for the bargain bin, um, right at the right at the exit there, along the uh, along the left." Um, and you just see like these, um, like very shittily made um, weapons that are sort of all just stuffed into a barrel. Um, so I, I, I want to walk up to it. Do any do any of them have the tiniest bit of shine on the hilt? So I'm assuming all the blades are down. So on the hilt, is there any type of shininess on any one of these swords in this barrel? Dragon, they... I swear to God. <laughs> Sorry. Dragon, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> um, they all look pretty stock standard. Like there's like you know. They're all in relatively the same condition. There's no gems or anything like encrusted in any of these things. Um, it's all very simple, you know, um, wooden hilts uh, with a um, like uh, steel steel blades and steel cross uh, cross blades. What are they called? Cross C cross, cross guards. guards. Yeah. yeah. Um. What about the base of any of them? Do any of them have any steel at the base of them? To, to hold the, the, the pummel here, to uh, any of them have a steel pummel? Yes, all of them. Ooh. Oh, a whole bunch of shinies. And uh, I'm going to try and, I'm going to try and like, 
Because I'm really tiny, I want to try and jump up and kind of like put my hands on the lip of the barrel and try and like pull myself up to try and look at these. Um, and in doing so, my weight will kind of topple the barrel over <laughs> and spill all the swords out onto the ground. And the um, as as you do that, the blacksmith will be like, "Oh, if you could not make a mess, that would be wonderful." Please, some of us have to clean that up. Uh, oh, so, sorry. And here I am trying to pick up these really heavy swords and just try and slide them back into the barrel one at a time. <laughs> really the struggling. Is as tall as you. Like yeah, but the, the barrel's toppled over though, isn't it? So it's on its side. Yeah, yeah, so... yeah, it's on its side. So you can slide all the swords back in. Yeah. But as you try to like sort of pull the barrel up like it's so oh, I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to do that but because i have negative one strength i'm just going to really struggle lifting the swords up just to try and get them in the barrel so i'm like really struggling and i'm and i'm saying sorry every five seconds <laughs> i kind of roll my eyes and help him lift the barrel up <laughs> uh, uh, thank you get it together draco <laughs> Uh, so, this, um, sorry, selfie. This uh, this blacksmith is just gonna say, "Come on now, is there anything I can help you with?" You don't by chance sell uh, hunting traps, do you? Hunting traps? Oh, um, I believe so. Yes. Let me just check the back real quick. One moment. As he'll sort of step around the back and um. Uh, and he'll return a few moments later with like a couple of um, like two like uh, wrought iron bear traps. Ooh. Uh, and how much would these run me? Oh, yes, well these are um, slightly used, so wouldn't charge too much. Maybe twenty gold pieces. Hmm. Hold on, how much does a shield cost? Shields cost hmm. uh, about 10 gold. You have uh, the two of them, 20. Throw in a shield for 25 and uh, you have a deal. He'll spit in his hand and sort of hold it out to shake. I'll spit in mine and take his hand. <laughs> Great. Um, he will take a shield off the wall, um, push the bear traps towards you, and you can get rid of 25 gold. Sweet. Worth it. Do I see him hand over this gold? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Do you? Well, I, I I think we just straightened up the barrel, so if if I do see it, I want to run over. Why why do you always keep giving away the shinies? <laughs> I want the bear traps. I I, I look at him and look at these things, and I'm, I'll hold a bear trap up to his face and clank clank it shut in front of him. Oh, oh, that's a that's a nice shiny. Uh, can can I uh, can I have me it? In the... The business like to call a painful shiny. Can I can I have it? Uh, no, this is mine. Oh. You can buy your own. <laughs> the wife's um. like the wife's like it's like you're a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Um Do I have two daggers? Uh, check your inventory, babe. I, it doesn't say anything about daggers. It just says simple weapon. Yeah, but does it say dagger? Oh, is that your proficiency? No. So you're looking no. At... No, I, oh, are you looking at your inventory? Yeah. Yeah, you have two daggers. I'm looking at them. Where? <laughs> are they down your backpack, perhaps? No, they're in her, they're in her equipment. She's blind. Probably. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Yes. Um, so, as you um, are sort of chatting and purchasing these items, Cavill will come up to you, Elfie, and say, like, do you think I need a smaller sword? You definitely need a smaller sword. You cannot leverage that what you're carrying right now. Yeah. Um, he'll take one of the short swords that he's sort of, like, 
but fuck, like fucking around with and looking and be like, would one of these do? It still manages to be too heavy for him. <laughs> <laughs> it, he's holding it like his form is shit, but he can lift this one. Okay. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Well, um, I suppose if I get this one, I won't need this one. And he'll take out this really nice long sword and sort of just like put it on the um. I'll uh, kind of thing and be like, I'll hold on to it for you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I I get all disheartened. I was just about to ask for it. Oh. Um, and he'll go. How? Um, excuse me, sir. How much for this sword? And he will say, however much a short sword costs. Ten. I'm pretty sure it's fuck all. Is it ten? Nice. Mm -hmm. They're like ten gold pieces. He will um, use the remaining money in his coin purse to hand that over, and be, and he'll look and be like, "Thank you, thank you, everyone. This feels much better. Please look after Father's sword. He'll kill me if I if something happens to it. Of course, I wouldn't dream of letting anything happen to it. Right, so." You guys have all your gear. Just gonna add um, to the, what, the yes, you may add a long sword to your inventory. Uh, this isn't like a plus one long sword or anything, but it that's is cool. Worth... It's it's pretty. That's fine. Yeah, call yeah. it call it, it like it, nobles long sword or something. Yeah, it is worth fifty gold pieces instead of the normal twenty five. Ooh, huh. I wanted it so bad. <laughs> um, I mean, what's the head dice I'll give it to you? Yeah. Does his um, armor get in the way at all? It's like it doesn't fit him very well, and it looks very uncomfortable. But it would be better than no armor. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you guys have a loaded up wagon. You've got your oxen ready to go. Um. It's just approaching the um sort of like late afternoon. How would you guys? Uh, would you guys like to head off? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. I don't see why not. Oh, oh do, do we... So, you do head we have out enough... of the city of Neverwinter. Oh, sorry. Do, do we have enough beds and food for the trip? Yes, I... so, as I, I... you look in the... Oh, go ahead. Ooh, I was going to say, I, I came from Mount Hot now, and I used up all my rations. So, I just want to make sure that we have enough food. You, um, as you go through and um, examine all the um, things in the back of the wagon, you do see that there is a small chest in the back that says um, Adventurer Supplies. And it's as you open it up, you notice it's got um, rations and bedrolls. Because um, all, all of the locals to the Sword Coast would know that it is a fair ride to Phandalin. So, you guys head off. Um, it's about probably six o'clock as the sun starts to set. And... Uh, as the sun begins to set, you get to about this point. As the sun sets, you get to about this point on the high road. Where Elfie is down. Yeah, I'll move you guys down. Um, as you travel along this road, you notice that this is the main coastal road along the Sword Coast. Um, it's You never go more than a, a couple of minutes without seeing another traveler heading north as you guys head south. Hmm. It's a very busy road, and is the, it is always fairly... Due to this, um, due to the busyness of it, you know that this area is quite safe. Where things will start to take a turn is probably the tribal trail. So, as the sun sets, you're at about this location. Would you guys like to continue through the night, or would you like to stop and rest? No, I, I'm happy to stop. Um, Draco's already. I'm on stage. Yeah, Draco's already asleep in the front of the the wagon. <laughs> of course he is. Yeah. Who, who's driving this thing? Draco. Oh, I I I wasn't I wasn't driving. I'm sitting in the passenger seat, aren't I? 
I'm walking up next to them, just holding the reins as we walk. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> not, not able to see this. Um, I'm gonna like pick up a piece of bread or something and like toss it over and try to wake Draco up with it. <gasps> oh my god, it's so dark. Um, yes, it's, uh, what happens at night time? Yeah, yeah, obviously, but when did it become dark? When the sun went down. Were you sleeping? Oh, uh, uh no, I was, I was just, just, I was looking forward. Hmm. Um, as you guys pull over along, like, uh, <clears throat> along the side of the road where there's a bit of a clearing, um, Pavel goes, Ooh, where's the hotel? Oh, my friend, you're, uh, <laughs> you're in for a surprise. <laughs> We're here, Pavel. <laughs> okay. Is, you see is there's the, a patch um... of grass right there. That is your bed. And the patch of grass next to that is someone else's. Is is the butler not coming to bring us to the estate? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Brevin will oh. jump off the wagon and start getting a fire ready. <laughs> I just tap the bed rolls and I say, this is the finest bed in all of Neverwinter. <laughs> Watching... Underneath the stars. <laughs> He'll sort of look at you like, like with this like weird curiosity and go like, oh, they don't look very nice. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're much more comfortable when I lie down. I'm sure you're right. Mm-hmm. Um, watching Bravnir try and start this fire, I, I walk up and go, huh, this is a job for a dragon. And I like lean forward, I open my mouth, and I go, ah, as I put my hand forward and cast Create Bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> With a whoosh, this, um, this fire erupts. I jump back, shouting, and cursing, and looking for whoever did that. Oh no, I was, I was standing right beside you. I was, oh, yeah. I glare at you. See? <laughs> I'm a dragon, I can create fire. Oh. There's a smell of um of burnt hair, as you see like a tiny <laughs> ember in Bravnian's beard. Oh. Oh. There's do... only certain types of people that light another dwarf's fire. <laughs> mm. Ah, and a dragon's one of them, isn't it? <laughs> Bite my tongue. Stomp off to go fight someone else to do. Nice. Um, as you guys set up camp for the night and um, proceed, you do notice that the further you get away from Neverwinter, the clearer the skies seem to become and the less busy it seems to get. Um, given that you've pulled over along the side of the road, you do notice that every 20 minutes or so there's a group of people walking past or. Um, traveling on horse or oxen um throughout the night you just hear like the, this constant tossing and turning and like oh elfie this isn't comfy at all i tell him to grow up <laughs> brevin's gonna pick up his sleeping bag and then walk like 30 feet away from it <laughs> uh find it <laughs> find it find a nice spot a little bit away and uh <laughs> remake his as, as as you're laying down with your eyes closed, you hear like uh, some footsteps coming towards you, and then as you look up, you see Pavel like laying his um laying his bedroll down next to you, going. Can I can I sleep here? It's it's scary. Oh um. <clears throat> My bad. You see, there's wolves in these forests, and uh, I came over here so that if they come to eat us, they'll eat me first. As you say that, all the color in his face drains as he passes out from a panic attack. <laughs> I will stand He's up, a... pick him up, drag him back to the camp, <laughs> help him with everyone else, and then walk back to my bed. Cool. Uh, he's going to be unconscious for the rest of the night. Um, <laughs> he, this is the furthest he's ever been away from Neverwinter. He's not having a good time right now. I'll get up and I'll, I'll try and tuck him in as best I can. <laughs> Aww. 
sweet, sweet, sweet Darrow. Hey, yeah. Uh, well, um, I would say you guys get a long rest, but you guys haven't done anything to that would require a long rest, so you guys are all good. Uh, t tin Man. If we would like, if we would like to move forward to the next day. I'm not being yeah. annoyed by him. I need for a long rest. Yeah, no, yeah, no, there's no need. I forgot, yeah. I forgot about Pavel, I'll leave him here. Right. Um, as you proceed on the next morning, you continue to make your way along the Tribal Trail. As you get to... Um, sorry, you make your way along the High Road. As you will get to here, you see the turn-off for the Tribal Trail. You notice that as soon as you encroach on Tribor, you see that the um, the road goes from this very well maintained dirt path to these incredibly jagged wilderness um, roads, where there's weeds encroaching on either side, the trees are overhanging a lot more, it's a lot less open. And there are no travelers on this road. Ah, and there's some peace and quiet. <laughs> uh, five minutes after saying that, Brabian will start whistling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I just realized I have some dwarven tomb. Probably from a mine somewhere. Take me down. Paul starts playing his pan flute to cope. <laughs> There's no monsters around. You don't need to be playing that. <laughs> okay. We'll be back in twenty minutes. Twenty. Twenty minutes. Yes. Perfect. Do you want me to um, play for you, or...? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Alright. All right. See you guys soon. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what order would you guys have yourself? Imagine the wagon is here. I'm sitting in the back of the wagon. Sorry, I'll just move you guys over. <laughs> yeah. What order are you in? Imagine the wagon's hair while he loads us onto a battle map. Yeah. So imagine <laughs> this is where the wagon is. Mm, what order would you I guys be at the back? Kind of like. Yeah. Can I go? Oh, sorry, uh, I didn't mean to move. Was... Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Pavel is sitting up the front with Draco. We've got Darrow to the front. Uh, Darrow walking along the side near Draco. And Elfie and Bravnian. As you make your way, um, as you've been on this tribal trail for about half a day now, you're nearing the side of a road leading south towards Vandalin. As you come around the bend, you see the scene of what looks like a battle has occurred here. Um, there's arrows that litter either side of the road. You see um, splats of blood in the distance. And looking ahead, can everyone make me a perception roll? <laughs> um, yeah, I'd say that probably, what's his name? Uh, Dre Dremel? Sorry, Darrow. Darrow's, oh, yeah. Darrow would probably be the... Like, he'd probably be right beside me, and he'd probably be the most perceptive, wouldn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'll roll for him. Uh, Brevnin is 100% just kind of looking out back the way they came, whistling. Yeah. Kind of tapping his foot as he goes. Cool. Um, as Darrow looks in the distance, he goes, Something is wrong. Um, yeah. What you talking and about? He, 
and he notices that in the distance there are two horses. Uh, they're both lying down. <gasps> flat. Like, they're both lying down. And with Darrow's perception, he informs you that they are not moving at all. Uh, Brav will get up and jump out of the wagon. Okay. As you, uh, what would you guys like to do? Investigate the horses. Oh. Yeah. Well, walk a bit ahead and see what everyone else is doing. No worries. As you make your way forward, you start seeing a lot more blood appearing. Pavel will come up <clears> with you guys. To sort of like he's mainly sticking next to Bravnian as he's terrified. Uh, I'll stay here and protect the shinies. <laughs> and I think Darrow will do the same at the moment. Yeah, I'll keep kind of just walking up, keeping pace with Alfie. Um, if I look around, can I like kind of get the like see what happened? I'm trying to yeah, so as you get trip. to about as you get to about here Sorry, I'll just bring you guys back a touch As you guys get to about here you look and see that the reason the horses aren't moving is because they are punctured with arrows um, As you look at these horses you see that one of them is a war horse that has um red and yellow harlequin patterns over the um uh, saddle and the other one looks like a draft horse only it's quite short and as you look on uh the left hand side of the saddle you notice that there's almost a small little step ladder like it's a where you would normally put your foot into the stirrup, there is a lower section below that to assist someone who is quite short. Hmm. Do, I, uh, <laughs> do, do I recognize that as something uh, dwarves might have used? Yes. Like you look at this and go, that would be very helpful to get on a horse that big. How many uh, dwarves did we know that are heading this way? Well, you recall that Gundren said that he was on his way. Uh, he was going to Fandolin early with his compatriot Sildar. Hmm. Oh, so that was a, a rhetorical question. Oh, the, my uh, bad. To, to to to. Um, I would like to kind of unsling my shield uh, and kind of just hold it in front of me. Look around. <laughs> yeah. Best get ready. Who knows if whatever did this is still around. As you get close, Pavel will go like, I got the horses. And he'll head towards them. Pavel, to go have a look. What are you doing? And just one moment. Okay. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Did you kill him with one shot from something hiding in a bush? As okay. <laughs> As Pavel goes to examine the horses. He, he looks over, um, he turns back around to the both of you and says, I could have done it. And as he is getting his words out, he reaches forward and clutches his uh, 
throat. As an arrow flies out of the bushes and goes straight through his esophagus. Yeah. As he drops to the ground, as he drops to his knees, blood pouring from in between his fingers. I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh man, this is dirty. Bringing in an NPC that is actually likable and then killing them immediately. So likable. All of that, Gwenny. His his music was terrible. Is it the INT one? Yes. Oh, sorry, no, not INT. That's the initiative. It's the one in the corner. You can get rid of that one. It's the one. It's the one beside uh, the shield. It, it's the one. Yeah, next to the shield. Middle, middle of your screen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of at the top. Ah, there. Okay. Ah, backpipes! <laughs> Let's go! Oh no. Okay, there we go. Let me just... Sorry, as I just learned how to do everything. Equip my shield quickly. Oh, wait, how oh, my sheet, sorry. Okay, this is... Okay. As the shot rings out, you hear a screech from the um, a screech from the side of the forest as goblins emerge from the shrubbery. Luckily enough, their stealth was so bad that you did not get surprised. Nice. But... So, let's see what they do. Is there any way to see the initiative tracker on this again? Uh, yes. Yeah, it. it'd be quick combat. God, our rolls are trash compared to this. Alrighty. Yeah. Errol's um, enough. Elfie, you take seven points of piercing <laughs> damage. As a uh. as a shot <laughs> rings out from the forest, right off the rip. Ouch! How do I add that? So, uh, see the little thing at the bottom there, like the little ten out of ten on your token. Oh yes. Yeah, just make that a three now. I take off seven. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, that is going to end his turn. Elfie, you, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, can I swap to arrows? Yep, so you can... Um, you've got a short bow, don't you? I, I've got arrows, at least. Ah, uh, yes, I do have a short bow, yeah. Yep, so make sure it's equipped, but you want to, um, so you drop your sword, pick up your, take your bow out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice, and then roll to hit whichever one you want. Mm, Which one do I roll? Ah, there's another one! My bad, he was supposed to be invisible. Which one do I roll? 
So you want to go to your, um, go to your actions and then click short bow and then you want to go to, to hit. Short bow and go to who? this one? Yep, that one. Okay. I'll move that. So okay. go. Um, 23. 23, that hits. Oh, which one are you going for? You can just click it or like double click. Whichever oh, one. Um, which one hit me? Um, this one. Okay. Sorry. This one. Cool. So now roll your damage. Um, how do I roll my damage? So, see, you know that plus six to hit you had? Go to the next one over. It should be 1d6 plus something. Six points of damage. As you let this arrow loose back at the goblin that just hit you, it impales it, impales it in the chest, and he lets out this screech. He is on death's door, but not dead yet. Do you have anything else to do with your turn? Um, will the shove do anything? The telekinetic shove? It would just bring it... Um, how many feet can you do it? 30. Yeah, so, I mean, you could bring it towards you. Okay. I mean, you don't have to. Like, you can do, like... So that just means you can move it wherever you want. I just need to make a save, I believe. Yeah, um... For sure. I'll move it. Sure. So you can push it five feet towards you or five feet away from you. Five feet towards? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely fail the save. So he moves five feet towards you. Oh, does that end your turn? Yeah. Cool. All right. This one is going to move. Oh, I just realized. I forgot to do this. Oh no. Not yeah, no, he's he's dead dead. Grab me on. What's your AC? Uh with my shield, it's nineteen. I'm back. Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, right. Ooh. Oh. Oh um, come back. as an arrow flies over as an arrow flies just over your shoulder, missing Smack you. Smack it with my shield. <laughs> um, that'll end its turn. Grab me on, you are next to act. Which one shot at me? Um, this one. Do you need me to roll initiative? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm a <laughs> cursing ah, damned goblins. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action rage. Nice. Uh, where actually is that? My features actions. Do I need to? Um, well, he's sorting that out. I just noticed my one's not up there. I rolled an eleven as well. Yeah, hey, yours is there. <laughs> Oh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh. I'm sorry, how do I see initiative? Left hand uh, side, you combat. In the combat. Gotcha, thank you. Good thing I rolled low. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't see it. Ah. Oh. That's so weird. Yeah, because I definitely rolled an 11, but my name's not up there. Yeah, it didn't automatically add you. I'm, I'm happy to roll again if it gets higher. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can see it there, so if okay. I go, no, oh, that's wait good. till, we can just I'll imagine he's finishes. there. I'll wait till Bradman finishes, and then when I hit next, uh, it should appear. I'm gonna hiff a javelin at the goblin that just shot at me. Uh, cool. I kind of rip it from behind my head and 
for yeah. a little item. That's a one. Wow. All right. Cool. All right, game. <laughs> That's enough of <laughs> one. So far. Okay, cool. now. This is interesting because this is a. Did I put this rule in or not? I can't remember. The critical yes. fail. I'm pretty sure you did. I did, yes. Yeah, so roll another okay. d20 for me. Damn it. Alright. I'd, impale... I'd rather have you impale your foot or something. <laughs> uh. No. Cool. So you heft this javelin and it does miss. However, you see it impaled in the escarpment along the side here. Like, you know, you can see where it is. Okay, uh, I'm gonna step up behind Elphir. Um, yep. Kind of like turn around to face the goblin north of us. <laughs> nice. Get that her a little bit of cover. Yep, that's my turn. Very good. All right, Draco. You are next to act. Um, that one I just pinged. You said that one was invisible, and you accidentally shot it. Is it still invisible? No, 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 no. So it was it was accidentally invisible. That's what these ah. are, everyone's visible now. Yep. Okay, cool. Um. I want to yell out uh, in Goblin, um, fear the dragon in Goblin, and then I want to shoot a fireball at that one in the north. Jesus. Okay. Do I need to make a save? Negative. Oh, it's a roll to hit. Oh, five bolts. Yeah, cool. Easily hit. Wait, Pebble's dead. Oh, yeah, he got one tap. He uh, walked out and just pow. He just got oh. obliterated. <laughs> I'm quite sad. I was gonna make him roll death saves, but he had two hit points and I did four damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. I was expecting um, the miss, but I rolled so well. Should have given him three hit points. Eight points of damage. Ooh, big numbers. As you shoot this firebolt at this goblin, he erupts in flames, screeching, collapsing to the ground, dead. In, in Goblin, as in my last second before I end my turn, I yell, Fear me! In Goblin. Mm. Very cool. Um, Darrow, you're up. Um, I am going to Healing Word Elfie. Nice. First of all. Um, so I'm going to take out my little paintbrush and just paint a little green plus sign and, and flick it at her. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> did it cast? No, so do I have to manage it? Oh, I just press that button. Okay. Yeah. Seven nice points of heal healing. Seven you, are, you are back to full health. I just add that in? Yep. Okay. Seven heal. Um, and then, um, thank you. <laughs> that's a will. Is this goblin down here hurt? The one in the bottom left is the color around them their health. Yeah, yes, okay. Um, I am going to uh, oh, vicious, vicious mockery. mockery yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Do I need and, to make a save? Uh, vicious Some mockery. Saving. Was save. Oh. Wisdom save. DC 14. Oh. With a 16, it passes. Okay. Um, but he has and... disadvantage on his next attack? No, I think he just gets uh, nothing. He just gets off scot free. Oh. What yep. shot him? Uh, I, I look over to him and I say. You look easy to draw. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, you can't say that shit when I'm drinking. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, and true. then I'm going to go behind the kobold and say to him, protect your shinies and lie down behind him. Protect your shinies. <laughs> oh, oh, I'll protect you, shiny man. Protect me. <laughs> uh, and that's my turn. Cool. Well, that goblin's dead. New round. <clears throat> this goblin feeling amped up from just killing um, 
from uh, just killing your friend is going to take a shot. What was his name again? Pavel. Pavel. Do you know which one killed Pavel? <laughs> um, yeah, the one that is just shooting now. The one up top. Why can't I ping What anymore? is this dude? Um, Bravneon, you take seven points of piercing damage. Uh, cool. I get to half. Oh, right? half, the two, three. You take three points of, uh, piercing damage. It's a solid goblin roll. Jeez. No. <clears throat> and then, as you see this one in the, in the shrubbery, you... Let me just roll. I think I can do this as a thing. <clears throat> okay. Cool. He vanishes in the shrubbery. <sighs> so that's how that feels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait until okay. there's fucking 16 of them on the map, Cav. Oh, and, and pit holes and traps and... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a little sick. <laughs> okay. Until you have to fight 200 of them in one town. Yeah, you haven't done that yet. Oh. Oh. Um, Elfie, as an arrow flies towards you, missing completely as this, um, with two awful rolls, as he tried to land his perfect shot, he got too close to the edge of this little escarpment here. He's lost his footing and has now fallen uh, down to here, and he is now prone on the ground. Okay. Um, I shoot him again with my short bow. Oh, so, um, one sec. Let me just... Do this, he's there. Uh, it's now your turn. So, I will let you know, shooting someone while they're lying down is disadvantage with a ranged attack. But if you were to grab your sword again, it would be advantage. It'd be advantage? Okay, cool. I'll get out my sword. So you pick your rapier up off the ground, drop your bow on the ground? Yeah. Cool. I'll drop those and pick up my rapier and then attack. Can I reach yep. him? Yeah, so you just gotta move over to him like that. Okay. And then hit. Yep, so now roll the hit with advantage. So twice? Sorry? Do I roll twice? Um yeah. Right. Cool. A 16 hits. So, roll your damage, and then roll sneak attack. Okay. Yeah, so do that. Uh, is it um, action or something? So now, if you go to the bottom of your actions... Yeah, um, keep going. Oh no, sorry, hold up. It is all. Yeah, so you go to all, and then if you go to the very bonus here... Sneak attack. Let's roll that. Okay. Oh. Cool. With 14 points of damage, you eviscerate this goblin as you stick your rapier through his throat. That's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> he is dead. Alright. Um, you have a bonus action left. Is there anything you want to do? Can I shove the other goblin closer? Sure. Um, Do I just have to make a strength save? It passes, so it does not get pulled forward. That, that would have been good too, because he would have fell down the cliff like the other one. Mm. How tall is that cliff? Um, only about five feet, but it's um, it's quite steep, so you would have to like hop like. For you, as a um, uh, 
dwarf, you would have to like probably jump and you could easily climb it. It's like difficult terrain. Um, Elfie, that ends your turn. All right. He is going to shoot at Bravneon again. Uh, you take three points of piercing damage as this another bow that is already halved. Um, three points of piercing damage, Bravnian, as another arrow just pings into your shoulder. Ah! And then he is going to difficult terrain move down here. 15, 20, and sort of like crouch down behind these dead horses. I'm gonna run 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. Uh, this little goblin. Um, and without reaching for another weapon, I'm gonna raise my shield up with both hands. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and. I, I'm imagining this one as like night shields, it's, it's like a kite shield, so it's got the little point on the bottom. I'm gonna yep. just try and bash him on there with that. Yeah, I'm just gonna cool. bonk him with that. Uh, which is a Tamron Roll Strike. You're kidding. <laughs> you know Brevin's gonna go home and just just die. This Brevin guy sucks. <sighs> oh, Tin that's man. three in a row, isn't it? Tin man, this is our leader. He's not having a good day. That sucks. Um, I need another Hold detail. Hold uh, Don't break my shield. Let's we'll see, <laughs> see if you eat this shield. Yeah, no, you're all good. Miss horribly, shield remains on your arm. Uh, I'm just checking to see with my tavern roller uh, when I hit a creature. Damn it! Okay, yeah, no, I can't do anything. All right. uh, I'm uh, in my turn there. Sure. All right, Draco. I'll protect your shiny man. Protect me. <laughs> okay, so that's 35, because I can walk 35, because I'm amazing, because I'm a dragon. Yeah, um, I'm a dragon. <laughs> I then cast Firebolt at oh. the said goblin. He's got half cover, because he's crouching down behind this um, Yep, it's all good. Horse. Oh. Roll the hit. Ooh. Ooh, a 10 does not hit as you set this dead horse on fire. Oof. And I yell, leave my shiny alone! That, does that end your turn? That's in Goblin, and I'm just checking if i got anything else. Fast. Ooh, am I within 10 feet of um, uh, Alfie or Bavarin? You're ten. You're within ten feet of Elfie. And Elfie's and... turn next. Um, in that yeah, case. Oh, you're also ten feet within Bravnian. Cool. In that case, I want to use as a bonus action as I'm yelling out, "Leave my shiny alone!" I say it with a draconic cry, and I give them both um advantage on their next attack rolls. Jesus Christ! So I'm like, nice. "Leave my shiny alone!" <laughs> Jesus. Very cool. Sorry, what did you give me? Advantage, Advantage on your next on attack roll. Attack, which I think right. you'll need. I, I need it. I, I definitely <laughs> need it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Elfie also gets it it's on um, Elfie's next attack roll as well. Oh, don't and forget, that... there was a kobold that disappeared. Like, uh, how do I ping? I'm going to go get him. Oh, yeah, that ends my turn. There you go. Hey, oh, cool. Tommy, how do you ping on this? Um, double left like, clicked. Hold. No, double, yeah, double left clicked. Left -click. Uh, right, cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a goblin that disappeared around here somewhere. Alright. I would like to stand up. Yeah. Um, and it's <laughs> difficult difficult terrain getting up these hills? Yeah. So that's 5, 15. Yeah. So um, were you, when you said you lied down, were you prone or just, like, crouching? I was prone, so it took 15, so that's as far as yeah, I can cool. run. Okay. Um, 
is a perception check in your game an action or just like a? Ah, uh, no, you can just do it. Like it'll be an action sometimes, but in this case, you can just do it. I'll give a have a little look around. Don't think I see him. You see <laughs> trees. I can't find him. <laughs> um, Bravnian, hit something, and I'm going to <laughs> inspire him. Oh, nice. Uh, Wait, is inspiration Bravnian. different to advantage? Yes. Yes. I'm going cool. to swish my, my paint, and on this goblin in front of you, you see a bullseye right on his forehead. <laughs> Uh, appear in front of you. Get him. <laughs> that's it. Gosh. Cool. Can't wait for a reckless attack. Level two can't come soon <laughs> Um, Draco. Yes. You take five points of damage, of piercing damage, as a goblin appears in the brush, <clears throat> hitting you. Found him. <laughs> And then, as quick as you see him... And as quick as you see him, he, he vanishes. Into the bushes. Did he, like, wait that long before he vanished? No. Okay. He popped out, shot you, Okie dokie, that ends his turn, that goblin's dead. Elfie! Um, can I... One, two, three, four... I run up next to Bravnion. Yep. And try and shoot the goblin. Oh, do you want to shoot him or stab him? Oh, I'll stab him. Can okay. I jump over the horse? You can, because um, these are lying down. Um, just give me an acrobatics roll. Yeah, piece of piss. You can get to there. Cool. And then Question. Do we have flanking rules in this game? Oh, wait, we do, don't we? It's minus two days. Yes. Right. Yeah. Forgot. So roll the hit. I swear to God, if you steal my kill. It's coming, Cab. It's... You watch, gonna be a big, like, uh, 15. Now, uh, also roll sneak attack. Ooh! Ooh, that's a I crit. I would say roll sneak attack, but you don't need to. He's dead. Dead? Okay. How do you kill it? I... I want its head. <laughs> oh, Sadie. Very good. Just brutal. All right. Baby, come on. That ends Elfie's turn. Bravnian. <laughs> I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20. Now I'm have a look around for the goblin. Oh, give me a perception. Uh... Don't roll a 1. <laughs> no, you can you can add your bardic inspiration to I it. I don't even think it's worth it. Like if he's beating my passive. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm no, a ready can... action. Um, yeah. To, I don't know, frisbee through my shield. Uh, if a goblin pops out. You have javelins, man. Yeah, but I have rage damage and plus five. Like I will one tap a goblin. Okay. With oh, very true. Okay. If, if I roll a one on damage, fire? they die. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna ready an action to throw your shield at 
anyone that comes and, and, and a goblin that pops out. Nice. And smirking little shit goblin face. Wait, I Kat, love it. Yo. Are you using like Baldur's Gate Heaven Brawler? No. Oh, plus strength from strength. Okay, I gotcha. Alright. Yeah, so plus strength plus rage. Like, I get seven and I can roll a one, which is eight, which yeah. I think is more than goblin health. More than enough. Draco, you're up. Um, after being struck with the arrow, I'm very angry at this uh, goblin who didn't heed my warnings. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go forward and um, crouch behind this uh, dead horse. Yep. Step over Pavel's um, dead body. Yep. I, I don't even notice him there. I just walk straight <laughs> over his body. Um, and it's not a disrespect. I just don't. I, you know, I just got hit. I'm I'm angry. Um, I yell, um, I yell, you deserve this, and I want to, can I blind fire a, uh, a fireball <laughs> into the, uh, forest? A firebolt? Firebolt, yes. Sure, just pick any square that you pick the square you're going to aim at. <clears throat> We're playing for battleships now. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're not, even gonna have to, you're not even going to have to roll for it. You do not hit anything as a comes through, as a fire firebolt flies through, hitting nothing. I think I got him, guys. <laughs> okay. Anything else? That ends my turn. Cool. I am cool. I am crouched behind this horse as well. Yeah. And be, be, being short as I am, I'm it's I'm very crouched. <laughs> yeah, you <made> short <laughs> as well. I'm being behind Brevin. Yeah. You can t you can hide behind large creatures, can't you? When you're small. Or is that only a halfling thing? Uh no. If you're a size smaller, you can get um three quarters cover. If you're the same nice. size, you get half cover. Alrighty, Darrow. I think. Don't quote me. Um, one, two, three, four. Can I make another check? You absolutely can. Make it with advantage. Oh, with advantage. Yeah. Uh, I'll just roll. Fuck. <laughs> These are poor. Um, <laughs> you do not seem to see My aim someone is in front amazing, of you. Jacko. Uh, okay. Um, As you're looking through the, the the branches of the trees. <laughs> this is where we oh. need a one character. As you get to there. Oh. As you yeah, the one there, character with high perception is in the ah. As you almost stand on the goblin. <laughs> ah. And he goes, hey, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Wait, in Goblin? In, he says it in very broken common. Oh, oh yeah? Well, and um, bear with me everyone. Uh, 0110111100111. <laughs> Which means uh, noob in binary. And I'd like to, <laughs> I would like to um, vicious mockery him. Wisdom save. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Wisdom save. I'm sorry, it's contagious. Oh my god. What's the number? Was, uh, oh. was say 14. Yeah, with a 5, fails. Um. So he's hey, disadvantaged. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, well, it hurt you anyway. I found him! And I'm going to point my fingers towards the goblin. Good question. Alrighty. Is he visible yet? Um, no, but he will be in about two seconds. Very right, cool. Um, because he is going to disengage as a bonus action. And five. There he is. Your action can go. 
Oh, and my bardic inspiration. And then rolls. my tavern brawler uh, plus two. Uh, 11 points of, I guess, bludgeoning damage. Yeah. Would you like it to be lethal or non lethal? Oh, this is lethal as fuck. I am so fuck, mad right yeah. now. Nice. As you th pelt this shield as hard as you can, as it hits him in the side of the head, you can see his neck snap, to his head snap to the left at a unnatural angle as he collapses to the ground. Ah, take that, you damned filthy goblin! That's and that is gonna end combat, everyone. Is that all of them? Yes, I think we killed all five. That's all the ones I saw. <clears throat> Wait, well, five. Uh, shall we uh, continue going? Everyone all right? So, as you, um... Oh, actually, what would you guys like to do? Can we bury Pavel? <laughs> can we, can we check the body for shinies? God, <laughs> God bless. Um, sure, as you check Pavel's body, looting the corpse of your friend, you find, um about 15 gold pieces in a pouch. Uh, but besides that, there's nothing really of value. There's like some chainmail armor. That's... A brand new short sword. Mm, yeah, and a brand new short sword. <laughs> Is there anything that may not be valuable, but it's just shiny? Um, I mean, like his buckles on his clothing. Oh, I'm taking those. <laughs> sure. He yeah. absolutely can. Does he have like a family crest pin or anything? Um, it's not a pin on his tunic, it's embroidered a family seal. Drake, are you an alien? No, it, <laughs> it's, it's made of cloth, it's not shiny. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go around. Good um, uh, I'm gonna go around. Yeah, we're also searching all the goblins as well, right? Yes. Right. Um, as you search the majority of the, like the the two goblins at the south, these ones here, uh, you don't find anything of value. Uh, and the same goes for this one up here. However, on this one that was brutally executed by Cab, you find a note. I I grab the note and I I throw it towards uh, Darrow. I'm like, take this non shiny, and I just keep searching the body. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay. Where, uh, well, what's the note say? Um, as you read it, it's in very scratchy common, um, but it is, it is readable to you, and it specifies, and, and it says, um, the fat one said that there was, there would be people following, ambush them, and bring their loot back to the hideout. And then it says underneath it at the bottom, if you forget where the hideout is, <laughs> <laughs> follow yep. the northern trail. Um, everyone, listen up. Uh, this goblin, they, someone set us up and uh, their camp's to the north. I <laughs> think they might have gotten Gundren. cannot slide. We must go and kill all the goblins and rescue Gunter. <laughs> yeah, we must save the boss man. Uh, well, Brad been saying this, he's like looking for nice long sticks. Uh, I assume these are trees? Yes, full trees. Yes. Looking for nice long sticks. 
sure. Um, you're in a forest. You absolutely find some. Sweet. Uh, I will break off four nice long sticks. Uh, and then, well, everyone else kind of does their thing. I'm a sharpen the tops of them. <laughs> sure. It will take you a little bit to do that, but you can absolutely do that. They don't um, need to also, be sharp. Um, also, as a go-to, I always go off the assumptions that if any weapons you dropped during combat, outside of combat, you will pick them up. Oh, yay. Yeah, so That's you have your javelin back. Yes. <laughs> and my arrows? Yep, so you can pull your arrows um, out of this out of this goblin. More arrow, singular. How? Wow. Oh, so you just um. So did you did you get rid of any arrows out of your inventory when you use them? Oh, do you cool. do that? I thought it automatically no, does it. It doesn't do it automatically. So just leave it. Okay. I'm not a big watcher on like ammunition anyway. Like I'm not too fast. Okay. Yeah. So you're all good. I'll uh, spend a minute kind of sticking these four sticks in the ground, pointy side up. Sure. Oh uh, god, I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> Ravnia, what what are you I doing? I uh, <laughs> stop. I'm gonna frown at you. Turn and point at the sticks. Um, sticks. Then I'll point at the goblins. Heads. <laughs> um, other uh, horses are blocking the path. Goblin and hack his head off. Are the horses blocking the path? For the cart? They, they are. Like, you look like the cart could probably get around um, along this way. But, um, yeah, there's no real dramas with that. Like, you could move them if you wanted to. They wouldn't be, if all of you worked together, it wouldn't be too heavy to push them across. Um, Draco, a big strong boy. Dr Draco heads to the south and sees this uh, kind of shiny javelin sticking out of the dirt mound. And I uh, <laughs> grab the end of it, and I'm pulling on it, trying to pull it out of the uh, the wall. And uh, yeah, uh, let let me give you a hand. <laughs> You're not gonna take my shiny, are you? I'm just gonna help you. Oh, thank you, tiny man. Thank you, tiny man. Sh 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 shiny, so shiny man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can everyone who was around this area here, where Bravneon is, can you make me a survival check, or even a perception check? Perception or survival. Was I in that area? Yes. A survival check? Oh! Fuck off, no, there it is. There it is. Wow. Barbarian, famous for being useful oh. out of combat. <laughs> <laughs> um, with a natural 20 you look uh, along this trail north and you see um, dozens like many many footprints like dozens of footprints leading north along this trail yeah, they are barefoot the and look goblinoid yeah I turn back to the group and kind of tilt my my, no, my, uh, my chin to the air and go <laughs> I smell goblins they went this way. Quick, someone help me get these heads on bikes, and then we'll go. Um, sure. Wh where are you putting the heads on the bikes? Like, can you bring uh, them up here? Where I am. Okay. Um, I walk up to you, um, carrying this javelin, and I jam it into the ground. This one javelin, <laughs> and I jam it into the ground. I'm like, there you go. Um. Thanks, I suppose. <laughs> Pluck my javelin back up. Stick it back. <laughs> the rest. Um, I'm assuming Pavel's like a really like lanky, light weight dude. He's. It was. It is terrifying how easy it is to pick him up. He's... Okay. Um, can I move him to the side of the road and bury him here, please? You absolutely can. Burying might take a while, but you could gather, you know, gather some rocks and stones and like sort of cover him in like a. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Take a couple minutes to do that. 
Very nice. Very, very sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to his grave, and on whatever big prominent stone there is, what was the instrument he played? A pan flute. A pan, pan flute. flute. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna paint a pan flute onto the oh. to a big stone. You know what? Fucking inspiration for the both of you. Yay! Being, I, I knew, I knew, sticking with the GM's girlfriend would give me <laughs> all these benefits. <laughs> I knew it. I have, I have no issues giving inspiration to Jewel because I know she doesn't know how to use it. <laughs> how do I how, use this? <laughs> yeah, how do you do it in your game? Question. <laughs> um, so, so it's, it's just advantage on a roll. Oh, so, okay. For what? Any roll you want. Oh, okay. Do so, I choose what? Yeah, you can choose whatever you want. Okay. Um, yeah. Are we it's able to use anyway. spells out of <laughs> combat without using up a spell slot just for flavor? Nope. Um, oh, <laughs> not, not really. Okay. But um, what do you want to do? Oh, I wanted to go down to where this um they laid this body down, and I wanted to cast Earth Tremor and open up a hole in the ground so his body fell in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would have made quick work. Does it, does it do that? <laughs> uh, it says it causes the ground to tremor within rage. All creatures in that area must make a dexterity saving throw. But you just damage us. Uh, it, <laughs> they do. They do take. They do take bludgeoning damage and are knocked prone. Right. Um, if the ground so. in the area has loose stones, it becomes difficult terrain. So you just scatter his grave oh. and damage. Yeah, you just all the work they've done. You would just destroy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna rule no. Okay. You can't do worth a, <laughs> worth you can't a try. Create a hole. Worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, what would you guys like to do now that Pavel has been buried and the goblins are on spikes? Uh, I'd like to drag the goblin corpses underneath their heads. Nice. Um, and kind of lay them up against the spikes. And then, uh, did someone take Pavel's sword? Like his, his short sword? Not as uh, I kind of want that. Oh, his short sword? No, it's still there. Okay. I'd like to take his short sword and his pan flute, and I'm going to stab the short sword into the ground between the goblins. Uh, kind of. I, I, does his pan flute have like, some string or something? Yeah, so he had his like, yeah. neck around it. I just kind of like hang that so it's a little bit over the um, uh, hand guard, the hilt. Yep, the cross the guard. Nice. The cross guard, that's the one. Yeah. Very, very nice. Huh. Leave that there. I'm gonna spit on the goblin again. Travnia. Uh, yes. Why? Why are you putting the heads on the sticks? Well, they're goblins, aren't they? Not. Yeah. Also, there there may be more goblins around, so should send a uh, rather clear message. Okay. Understood. Also, because they're goblins. It's creepy. Uh, by the way, guys, I, I like look down at my side and I like pull this arrow out of my side and <laughs> <laughs> they they hit me with this. Oh, that's, that's okay. Don't care. Looks kind of painful. Yeah. Can I yeah. take that? <laughs> 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 Okay, it's got dragon blood on it though. <laughs> That's okay, I've seen it. Um, am I able to like patch up my wound using some medicine skill check? Um, yeah, oh, does anyone have a healing kit? I'm poor, so no. I think no. If you have a medicine kit, you absolutely can. Otherwise, otherwise, stay in the back. Um, <laughs> in in that case, can I grab some dirt off the ground and just push it into the wound while doing a a roll with my negative one medicine? You know what? <laughs> sure. <laughs> not 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 to I get like any it. hit not to get any hit points. Just yeah. Yeah, just like absolutely. Baker does. Yeah, infection. Yes. Yeah, a horrible, horrible. Oh my god, he might actually. <laughs> and then, 
I'll tell you what, if it was a natural one, you were going to take damage, but a two, <laughs> a two, that was an unnatural one, so I, you are all good. You shove dirt into a fresh wound, like a true medieval patron. I, I, I instantly perk up, ah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, gang, what is the plan? Yeah, shall we uh, get going? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're going to uh, go save Gundren, right? Uh, yep. Gundren. Yeah. Okay, right. now, this is very important. What is the order you guys are going to travel in? Um, I'll sit at the front and keep a lookout. You want to walk at the front? Yeah. So this trail, by the way, as you notice, you can't get your oxen cart through here. It's very thin. However, you could leave your cart along the side of the road, and you understand that, uh, or at least the locals would know from around this area, that the tribal trail is rarely ever used. You could most likely leave something here with some, in some area of seclusion, and it would be fine. Like behind these bushes? Yeah, That's you can good with a big push, you can get it up. Mm -hmm. Cool, so you push the cart up here. And so, in single file, what order would you guys like to go in? I mean, if Alfie uh, wanted to go first, I'm happy to go second. Or I can go first. I'll bring up the rear. All right. Like that? Yeah. Looks cool. good to me. Now, Normally. as you make your way, you said keeping a lookout. Are you looking for anything in particular? Um, more goblins or traps. Cool. Um, give me a perception check. Can I inspire her? Oh, uh, probably a bit too late. Sure. The roll check? Um, oh, no, so, um, bardic inspiration is different from normal inspiration. You can use your normal inspiration if you want, but I wouldn't blow it this quickly. Otherwise, yeah, so bardic inspiration is, is what's yours, a d6? It's a D6, and yeah. I'm going to, as you're looking around, you're going to see random arrows that say, uh, check here, check here, check here, just everywhere. And that's how I'm going to help. Uh, are they, so you are roll they... a D6? Only she can yeah. see them. Yeah, are they flashing neon sign arrows, like from Vegas? Yes, yeah, like the obnoxious <laughs> ones. Come on, a six. Whoa. Nope. Oh. God damn it. Okay. Cool. So as you travel along for about ten minutes, you're walking along, you see like um it's relatively tight. You're just starting to notice that the tree tops are starting to overhang a lot more and are pretty much not a lot of life is now getting through. Um can you make me a dexterity saving throw? Oh, so you go to your saving hey, throws. You for the follow, the uh, hinky. Nice. As you are walking along looking for traps, you're looking fairly diligently, but you fail to see the snare currently hidden in the dirt. As you step into it, you hear this as the rope flies upwards, but luckily you are dexterous enough to get your foot out of the way before it flings up into the air. So you were avoided, you avoided being flipped upside down and suspended. Damn the book up it. Good dodge. <laughs> yes. Cool. Excellent dodge. Alrighty. Um... Still going to stay in the same order? Yeah, if Alfie's still going to keep marching ahead. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Uh, make a perception check for me. Okay. Oh, I might be. Cool. Um, 
That's three eights in a row. Because you're three. walking, walking along. Um, uh, can I get you to make a deck save? Again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> oh. As you're walking along, you're sort of looking for traps, but now that you originally saw the snare, you're looking for ropes. And you don't see a rope. And it's not until you take a step and you realize that as your foot touches the ground, there is no ground there. As you fall into a pit... Is there anywhere I could attempt to grab her before she falls? Um... You're probably the only one close enough. I'll tell you what. Give me a... Tell you what, just roll... Roll me an initiative roll. Well, I like that. To see your reactions. Yeah, no. So, unfortunately... Um... Simply due to it, um, your reactions just weren't quick enough, and she's going to fall in a hole, taking two points of bludgeoning damage as you fall into this hole. Uh, uh, is that just the normal hit point? Yep, so just take two, two. points of damage. Okay. Um, this pit is uh, six feet wide, ten feet deep. But you notice that the walls of this pit aren't very steep, so you think you could easily climb out. So can I? You can climb out. <laughs> do I have what? to do anything? Nope, no check is required for this one. Okay. Oh, like, lay down and offer your hand. Thank you. <laughs> what, if we, uh, what if we follow the path, but just in the woods? But, uh... <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, better idea than this. <laughs> Unless there's more traps in the woods, perhaps. That would be uh, hilarious if there was more traps in the woods. Yeah, so do we, we walk into the woods? Yes, I am for walking in the woods. We all have sure. shit perception. The one we person with good perception, perception is not here. <laughs> God damn it. Very good, very nice. Right, so, uh, can everyone just roll me a survival check? Um, this will be a group... Oh, well, not a group check, just one of you needs to pass. So do we all roll? Uh, yep, <laughs> everyone rolls survival. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like my rolls have been really bad this session. They have, Tommy's got like... I got a 20! I checked the modules. Oh, there you go. It's not a nat 20. Yeah, uh, no, oh, close. Plus two. Oh, so Elfie manages to lead you guys through the forest and avoid um, any uh, avoid getting lost, even though you're like, it was a very easy check to pass, like, there wasn't much, like, you were walking just adjacent to the road. I have two questions. Yep. One, should we be able to see the cave layout? You wouldn't. I and have two, night vision, should we be able I? to see the goblins? Yes, you can see them. Okay, cool. Um, the, like the three of them at the front? Yeah. Yeah. Why? No, like the, the other eight inside. I kid, I kid. <laughs> um, Why is there no light? Although, Why what, is there vision? While I was following you guys, for some weird reason, I took a 90 degree turn and started walking in a different direction before being pulled up by, uh... Grabby by the scruff of your coat. Yeah, by Darryl, like, great, no, no, this is... Whoa, whoa, wrong way. Huh. Sorry, this forest all looks the same. I like Keep caves. an eye on me. Shiny. Can you guys still see the land of the cave? Nope. No, no, it's gone now. Great. Just the front. Just the front, right? Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. It's okay, guys. I got a VOD of what it looked like beforehand, so we got this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> kidding, 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 kidding. Okay, so... Um, as you make your way out of the clearing, you see a cave mouth um, in front of you. 
as you approach, you hear the sound of um, goblins speaking in goblin old. There's a shallow stream that runs from the cave mouth, and there are dense briar thickets along the right-hand side, which is where you can hear the voices from. Can I hear what they're saying? Uh, in Goblin, yep. they are just sort of, um, they're just shooting the shit. Like, they're, just, uh, they're not actively paying attention, they're sort of just going like, Hey, I'm fucking... I'm walking here. Walking here. Fuck, <laughs> I'm walking here. What the fuck y'all doing out here? Draco. Yes? Draco. I, I have an idea. Oh, shiny ideas. Well, uh, I have a disguise kit. What if we ambush the ambushers? You pretend to be a goblin, lead them to us, we jump out. Kill them. Ah, oh, you're crazy. How can a dragon pretend to be a goblin? The wisest dragons can disguise themselves. Oh, yeah, I, I knew that. Yeah, I, I can do it. Yeah, everyone else down for this idea? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I suppose. I can probably sneak attack behind them through the trees. All right. Well, uh, I'll lean down. Um, I get out some, uh, where is it? I can't ping it, but I have a disguise kit. Yeah, you're all good. Um, and I, I, I paint him up and make his skin green and make him look a bit fatter and more plump. Uh, Center for you, you look good. Go, go tell them that we're that, yeah. that you're being chased and they need to come help. Yeah, I'm, see I'm, a, I'm a wise dragon. I can, I can do this. All right, all right. Uh, Let's see how good your disguise is. Can you just roll me a performance? Yes. Does not need to be very good, but it fucking is. Great. Um, you managed to paint him up uh, green. You like get his ears and you sort of like angle them to either side to make them jet out at the side like a goblin's. All right. Very good. You now have a dragon disguised as a goblin. Who's really a kobold. <laughs> um, to, um, to add to I'm, it as well, I'm can I use that. illusion magic just to add, to, like, because my clothes won't look like theirs, so I want to use illusion magic to make my clothes look like their clothes, to add extra sure. to the what, effect. What sort of, is that like just minor illusion? Minor illusion, yep. Just a cantrip. Sure. Mm. Yeah, you know what? That's that'll be fine. Yeah, it won't be very like if they try to examine it, it won't be. It'll look better than what from I'm a di from a distance. Yeah. You might get away with it. Yeah, it, it it it's better than what I'm currently wearing. Is what I'm trying to aim for. Nice. All right. What's the plan? Okay. Um, I want to run up to the side of the river up here. The rest and... of us are gonna hide in bushes and stuff. Yeah. By the way, well, that's what I'm gonna do. Just going How far back are we hiding? Yeah. You guys would be able to get up to here without there being any, like, there without it being too much of a, too much of a difficulty. Cool. Uh, before, uh, like, while Draco was getting painted up, could I yeah. have perhaps placed a, uh, one of my bear traps here? <laughs> sure. Then, uh, one of my bear traps here. And then sure. told, it made sure to point out the Draco and say, don't stand there. And then go back to it. Oh, the, the snappy shinies. Oh, cool. Oh, sorry, my bad. Not fix that up. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah, cab. No, I'm joking. <laughs> cool. Um, no worries. Can I get everyone in the bushes to roll me stealth? I can't yes, wait to roll a one and fuck it work. up for everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Holy shit! Twenty six. Yeah. I got an eleven. 
Uh, okay, that's not bad. They won't be looking at us. It's it's gonna be fun. For an animal, Jill. <laughs> cool. Um, they do not seem to notice as you guys hide in the bushes. As you approach Draco, you gather their attention, and they go, "Hey, Polly, who's this jerk off? Do guys, we know you? Guys, we're, we're under attack." There's uh, adventurers on the road. They've already killed some of us. Quickly, come help! And before even getting an answer, I start running south. No worries. They're gonna go jumping between the traps. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna run between <laughs> the traps. So. <laughs> yeah. Quickly, hurry! We're dying! They're gonna go, oh shit! Quick, boys, let's go. I love these American Boston fucking <laughs> goblins. The Why Boston goblins. Hold it. One sec. What's perception? Hold Is it wisdom? It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they don't see that. I'm just dying. Oh, Yes! <laughs> Punk. Yes! Ah! What the fuck? Um, I, I want to turn around. Ah. I want to turn around and in Goblin say, Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> and yeah. I'll... Um, we do uh, initiative? Yeah. Brevdin speaks Goblin. Uh, when Draco says that, Brevdin will shout, No! <laughs> Wait, what? He's yelling at us to to jump out. Oh, you said now. A... I thought you yelled no. <laughs> no, so so. Do we get an action have... off before initiative, or just straight initiative? You can take an action if you would like, <gasps> as these guys are surprised. I'm gonna hurl my javelin. Um. Let me just read what my hunting traps do again. Uh, I do think they need to make a deck save to... Oh, fair. Uh, I just assumed that they... How much is the damage on it? Uh, 1d4 piercing damage. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Uh, it oh. does reduce your movement to zero when you get trapped. Yeah. So it's a DC 13 deck save. Um, and if you fail that, it's a DC 13 strength check to open the trap. Cool. They both failed. Oh, um, nice. And they both took... Sorry, did that the wrong way around. Here we go. They have been damaged. And they are stuck there. Nice. Cool. Um, so... Yep, you... Um, let's start initiative. Cool. Uh, initiative... That's where my good roll went. Nice. So these guys are surprised. <laughs> yeah. I'm because... just static that I gotta use my bear traps. This has been my day. I mean, they rolled fucking three and four on their perception checks. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Fucking I was, to use I, I was wanting to hide them in the lake, but I didn't want to have to roll a stealth check to put them yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the DC to see them was eight, and they got a three and a four. Excellent. I was fucking furious. Okay, they are surprised. Uh, Bradley, you are first to act. I think yes. Elfie is actually. Is Elfie? She rolled a she rolled a save. She rolled an intelligence save instead of initiative. Oh. Yeah, oh. Sure. Okay. Wait, what? Yes, yeah, so you rolled your int save and not an yeah, initiative. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it up. Okay. Oh wait, what do you get to your... Is your intelligence save like minus something? Oh, it's plus four. But, and your dex is... Wait, what's your dexterity? Your intelligence save plus... Oh, rogue, never mind. Huh? What's your, what's your dexterity? Plus six. No, it's not. What's your dexterity score? Oh, plus four. Cool. Yeah, cool. So it is a 20. Nice. Uh, Elfie, you are first to act. Again. 
Um, can I sneak attack the one at the back? At the back? Who hasn't been uh, put in a trap yet? The when a creature is surprised, is it advantage? I think because we're unseen. Yes. Oh, yeah. We come out of unseen to do it. Yeah. Sure. So you can run up to him and try to stab him. Okay. So roll to shoot roll to things. attack. Roll to attack with advantage, or or you can shoot your bow, whatever you prefer to do. Um. Wait. What? So you can either stab him or shoot him with your bow. Um. I'll stab. Cool. So you run out here, up, and then roll with advantage to hit. Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. Cool. Um, so roll your damage and then roll your sneak attack. Roll sneak attack. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. With 11 points of damage as you plunge your rapier into his side as he... Ah! The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that hurt me here. <laughs> Ravnian, you are next to act. Oh, unless you have any bonus actions, which I don't think you do. Uh, I... Yep, you're next act, Bragnian. What's up? Cool. Uh, question. Yes. Was that advantage in melee or advantage um, in trash? Yeah. Well, okay. I mean, like, the way I'm ruling it is, like, you're within five feet of these things to, like, run out from a completely hidden position while they're surprised. I would rule that as advantage. Sweet. I'm, uh, jump on out here. Um,. I'm going to kind of pull my mole from my back. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to try and bonk the uh, the goblin that uh, Elfie just stabbed. Sure. With advantage. That's uh, 21 to hit. That hits. And I bonk some... him for 15 bludgeoning Ooh. damage. Jesus Christ. As you cave his fucking skull in. <laughs> I, and then I... Uh, I turn to the other two and just like hold my mole out in front of me and go, Do you want some? <laughs> and go. <call them. laughs> cool. Goblin uh, is going to come out of surprise. Oh, I need to take my shield off. Whoops. Other goblin is going to come out of surprise. Darrow. You're up. Uh, looking at the other two, uh, the mm -hmm. absolute badasses, um, I want to try as well. And I'm going to pull out my rapier. And, uh, <laughs> Do it, Daryl. And try it on this one. <laughs> Do it. I believe it. Uh, let me equip it. Mm. Inventory equipped. Aha! Twenty-two. It's... Huzzah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Dead. Fun. Yes. Yes, very fun. Dead. Draco, your plan has come to fruition as two of them are already dead. <laughs> and the third one can't reach anybody. <laughs> and the third one cannot move. <laughs> um, before I... Got this little matchstick. Before I attack, can I ask if he wants to surrender or intimidate him into surrendering you can absolutely ask him if he wants to surrender okay i want to take a step forward throw mm -hmm. back my cloak like i'm revealing some you know dark secret and then i'm like <laughs> fear the dragon and surrender or die in like the squeakiest little voice i can muster <laughs> And I'm gonna ask if he can wants to surrender or die. Oh, are you attempting to intimidate him? Intimidate. Him? No, I yeah, am a him. dragon. I intimidate. Roll intimidation. <laughs> so 
Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. I did like the cape flourish, though. He's just gonna look at you and say, What the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm a dragon, hear me roar, and I cast Thunderclap. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, I know. I know exactly. Wait, you seem a bit worried there. <laughs> Almost mm. like this noise can echo through the caves and pull everything mm. out. <laughs> okay, I'll do firebolt instead. Um, okay. don't, don't let my noise. <laughs> you, you sound really terrified though. <laughs> the thought of everything running out at once. You know. I just got attached to Bravnian. Like, I, I guess I can. <laughs> okay, no. So I, I want to yell. I want to yell. Uh, burn in in dragon fire. Like, lean forward, open my mouth really wide, and then cast fireball out of my hand. Nice. Hits. Oh. As you set him on fire, he is on death's door. Yo, it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> and that will end my turn, actually. Yeah, no, that'll end my turn. Yeah, that'll end my turn. Yeah. Cool. Healthy. Um, seeing as though he's nearly dying. Will he give up any information? Um, you can attempt to intimidate or, you know, you can try to convince him to do so. Whether, like, you can either intimidate him to, like, force him to say something, or you can either persuade or deceive to, like, either lie or persuade let's, him. Let's yeah. deceive him. <laughs> okay. Is so he going to lie to him? Yeah. What are you going to say? Um... Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is your god speaking to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he thinks he's seeing the light. <laughs> he's engulfed in flames. <laughs> and I'm going to use my thermaturgy. Is that what it's Yeah, called? you can use thermaturgy. Yeah. Um, and change how I look, my eyes to glow, so it looks like I'm a god or something. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is <Fuck>. dope. <laughs> um, as your eyes glow like this fl like bright yellow while he's on fire, um, he is going to drop both of his weapons, or drop his, um, drop his sword and shield, and just sort of put his hands up and he'll just say like, Please don't fucking kill me. I don't want any trouble. Please, God. And he'll like, and he'll like, go prone in an attempt to um, surrender. Can I ask him like where the rest of them are? Absolutely. Or if they've got a map, he's got a map of the caves. Um, he'll. He'll say, um, oh, don't, don't have a map of the cave. It's not massive. Like, we just fucking, there's like three rooms. Three rooms. The big rooms, but there's three of them. Four of them, maybe. Um, and he'll say, uh, so look, I think there's, I think there's a, like a dozen goblins in there. A dozen. Um, and um, like and a baker's dozen. There. Like a baker's dozen. No, like the, <laughs> the the and he'll like look at his fingers and like <laughs> like this many, and he puts his hands up and then goes and then gives you the peace sign. Okay. <laughs> um, and he'll say, "Oh, and Clark is here." Clog? Who's Clog? Clog's our leader. Clog reports to King Grohl. 
King Grohl is leader of the goblins. He's he's kind of like our president, King Grohl. What do you do guys want? We we do whatever King Grohl says. Um King Grohl sent a message to Clark telling us to um capture that dwarf and send him to King Brawl. We got paid to do it. We, we ambushed the dwarf and his stupid human and took him. Where are they now? I don't know what they, um, I don't know what they did with that dwarf, man, but, um, that dickhead human's in the eating cave. The heating cave? The eating cave. You know, like a deli, like a bodega? What's a uh, bodega? <laughs> it's like a fucking... A deli. Come on, you know what a fucking bodega is. <laughs> well, that's, that's nice that they're feeding him. <laughs> so what? Us, man. It's fucking hungry out of you. You see any fucking animals running around? Have so, we enough from this goblin yet? Wait, 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 wait. Don't kill me, don't kill me. I got keeps... more information if it'll keep me alive. He, he surrendered. We can't kill him. Please, man, please. I got more information if you keep me alive. Go on. But it better be good. Recently, we've been seeing these other, like, strange goblins. They, like, joined us on the road, like, maybe a couple weeks ago. I don't know. I think they're from, like, Long Island or something. <laughs> <laughs> they got these, like, big, like, weird-looking, like, head thingies. And their skin and their skin grows like green. You know, like like New York Jets green. Mm. And when they hit us, it fucking hurts. But it's like doesn't hurt like unlike your body, it hurts like your mind. Like like you know, like normally like I stab you, it's just like ah, but like this case, like they stab me and it's like ah my fucking head hurts. I'm sorry, I can't take this seriously. I love these goblins, man. <laughs> this, is the, this is the best goblin rendition I've ever heard. <laughs> well, uh... Oh, Please let me go. I think we should let him go. Ah, yeah, de definitely. Oh, wait, uh, we'll, we'll let you go if you can give me a shiny. Um, he'll, he'll, like, fucking, like, tap, like, all over me. He's like, um, I got, I got no cash on me. Um... Anything, check the, anything check shiny the, will check, do. Check out boss. Our boss should have some. Very, very disappointed. Do I have to roll to kill him? Fuck! <laughs> you, you, you would have to attack him. You, you're gonna roll to hit him. He's prone to, so it's advantage. Uh... Jesus! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you don't even need to roll damage, you fucking kill him. That's the Pavel. The Pavel! Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> okay, sh kebab him with my rapier. <laughs> oh. Why did you kill the defenseless goblin? They killed the defenseless Pavel, <laughs> even with his sword. He no. was defenseless. No, not this one. This one didn't do it. It was all of them. Oh, the goblins are the better part. Well, I, uh, well, I do not agree <laughs> with how he was killed. I agree that he should have been killed. 
How would you have killed him, Bradney, and then cut his head off? Stuck it on a pipe? <laughs> That's what he thought of. You would have gone back you take and made some the others. Monster. <laughs> uh, I, I would have waited till he was looking the other way and just, you know, oh, okay. he made, like, a gesture with his <laughs> ball. An act of mercy, then. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not mercy to kill goblin laying on the ground with no weapons. <laughs> right. Um, that will end combat. Um, what would you guys like to do? You did find, um, Draco, if you check the goblin boss, you found, um, 16 silver pieces. Oh, These are mine. <laughs> <laughs> these are mine. Is there any- uh, can I pick up the shield? Sure. Now, I don't know if you can wear shields or not. Can rogues wear shields? I don't believe they're proficient. Yeah. Lame. Yeah. Well, I uh, suppose we go save Gundren now. Uh, wait, no, no, yes. Gu 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 Gundren. Me one minute. Gundren got taken to the uh, other place. We we gotta go save the human that's eating food in the cave. Oh well, all right. Let's go do that. Oh, I did if... say there's probably going to be like a dozen in there. If you could count, count correctly. Kneel over this goblin. And, oh, oh. Here we go. oh no, sorry, that was the music bot left. I'm going to yeah. retrieve my hunting traps. Yes. From the goblin corpses. Forget they're not single use. Yes. I am so happy with this purchase. They are very good. You wanna go first, Stealthy? You look a little beat up. Uh, does someone else wanna go first? And do we have lamps? Or can anybody else see in the dark? Um, so, all of you have <clears throat> dark vision, except for, um... Your Why war forge. Um, can you see in the dark when you walk in there? I think so. I can't yeah. see anything. Yeah, cool. This is it's just like black. Me. Nice. Wait, really? Yeah, I can see in the dark. Oh, that oh, is... That is Both hell sick. That's what? I just said that's hell sick that night vision... Uh, was it? Yeah, the night vision actually blocks his vision. That's sick. You know that yeah. did that in my campaign, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, but like, okay. I, I had night vision, and I think most of us had night vision on that other one, so yeah, I... except for Reggie. Not me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Both characters, yeah. Okay. Um, as you enter into the cave mouth, you notice that there's, on the eastern side of the passage, you see that there's a couple of uneven stone steps um, that narrows to a steep fissure at the far end, and it is filled with the stench of animals as you walk in. Guys, I, I can't see anything. Yeah. I do you want me to? Do you want to make you a light? I can see three things to the right of the entrance. So, as you come in, and you smell the the stench of animals, you hear the snarling and barking of wolves, and almost like the rattling of metal. And as you look in and approach, you can see that these three wolves are chained up. Oh. I'll like slowly step out and hold both my hands up in a, what I hope is a sign of... Um, are they friendly? They are barking and snarling at Bradmion. And they're sort of, they're trying to move forward, but the chains are stopping them. I'd like and I attempt to, hold both to my handle hands them? Oh, is is um, so one second. Uh, you guys can both make an animal handling check. Oh me. 
Mm -hmm. Is there any way I could get like like one foot of dark vision just so I can see oh, where I'm walking? Yes, you can. Yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll give you five feet of dark vision. Awesome. That's perfect. Thank you. Now I know where that? I can walk. Yeah, yeah. Is this the robot? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you roll? Oh, press roll. Animal handling checks. No good. Mm -hmm. Um, as you attempt to sort of calm these animals down, they just the closer you get to them, the more they start barking. Hey, hey, shush, shush, shush. Uh, I'll yeah. like frantically go through my pack uh, to see if I've got anything that I can throw to them. Do you there, has anyone got any food? I them? believe I have ten rations. I can yes. kill them. Uh, do you want me to thunder? Like Hold on a second, wait. <laughs> they look like prisoners. Do you want me to thunderclap them? Not just yet. We can clap them later. I have a. Do you want to try and give goblin. them a ration each? Uh, Let's yes, I'm a. Uh, well, that's a ration mm -hmm. to While you guys are doing this, you notice as they're like getting more and more aggressive and pulling at you, this one in the middle here, the its chain, the um the pole that its chain is attached to starts to loosen. And it gets a little more slack as it like moves forward. What's that noise? Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and while you can hear this barking, there, um, the the sound of the rushing stream is echoing inside this cave a lot. You guys can, you guys have to be next to each other to hear each other talk. And so, like, the loud noises are pretty, like, the, okay, you can be cool. quite loud here, and it be not too bad. So they're not like alarm dogs, or like it's loud, so you can't really hear their barking at all. Yes, these look like they're um, like hunting dogs. I Understood. can see a goblin up Same. ahead. Yep. As well, on a bridge that goes over the stream. If, if he hasn't noticed you, perhaps you should shoot him. And then I'll go back to trying to throw rations at the dogs. Cool. Um, so you can throw down a ration for each of them. Yep. Um, you may now make another animal handling check with advantage. To attempt to soothe them. And um, that one. Doggies. You've got this. It's a 14. Ooh! A 14 is enough as they, as they, like, heads, like, fly down towards these rations to eat them. You notice that they have completely lost all attention to you. Uh -huh. um, like, they've, they've lost all focus on you and they are just focused on eating. Like, you can see the rib cage on these animals, they look bare bones. Good, good dogs. And then, so they're gonna focus on that for the next couple of rounds. All right. Um, can we try and look at that door at the back of the room that they're in? Yes. Yeah, so looking up here, so that's not actually a door. I've just put that there as a um, I think to keep an eye out. So along this um, eastern wall here is a fissure that has a narrow a narrow opening uh, that leads to a natural chimney. So there is a hole about 30 feet up. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a hole about 30 feet up in the sky that leads to like a natural sort of chimney. You can look and you can see like there's like coals and embers at the bottom of the... Uh, at the bottom of this chimney, and um, like you know, bits of like like couple of like small chicken bones and things like that. Okay. Does it like lead anywhere that we can go? You don't know. You'd have to climb up to have a look. Oh, we have to climb it. Okay. Can yeah. I try and go past them? <laughs> Who's opening the fucking door? <laughs> um, you can attempt to pass them. They are. They seem pretty preoccupied on food at the moment. I'll try and do that. Okay. Yep, so you can make your way as long as you stay away from them, like along, like if you stick to this southern wall here, you could get around. Okay, maybe, cool. Maybe you can try and uh, stealth around them too. I'll uh, be right back. Sure. 
Okay, uh, can you make me an athletics check? Athletics check? Oh no. Ooh. Okay, so it will take you a couple of turns, but in two turns you can get up there. It is at this point they finish up their food, but I think I know what Cab's gonna do. Come <laughs> Cab, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll sit back and watch to see if they, uh, <laughs> they do anything about that. <laughs> uh, they immediately start going to town. Nice. I'll, uh, I'll even nudge uh, this one right next to me a little bit closer to the wolf up in the corner um, to make sure they can get some. Oh. <laughs> then I too will creep around. What does what does Dara see as I <laughs> like you can see me walk outside and drag corpses in, right? I mm -hmm. literally like <laughs> can't see anything. You can't see anything? As soon as I stepped in, like I could probably feel the walls around me, but that's it. Can Draco like light anything up with his fire breath or anything? I I offered, but the shiny man didn't want it. Just, uh, I don't I don't want to give us away. Once we once we're fighting, maybe. I'm just gonna hug this wall. I'll, uh, I'll come back in. I'll as you climb to town. the top of this, um... Think. As you climb to the top of this little natural chimney, Elfie, as you look through the hole, you see... two goblins gathered around a fire. And a bugbear. Oh. S stop playing hot potato with who's standing inside of who. A bugbear. Okay. And a bugbear at the back with a wolf at his feet. Oh, is this okay. illuminated? Is it also tied up? Um, oh, it is illuminated, but you can't see it. No, this wolf is not tied up, but it yeah. is sitting at this bugbear's feet. Does it look to be a friend of the bugbear? Yes. What, what do you oh. see? Um, I, I see a bugbear at the far... East, and then two goblins south, right. and not much else. I can't see except for like a fire in the middle and some boxes and stuff around the edges. Okay, and we have to climb up to get to where Elf is. Yes. Okay. Uh, do we just want to jump him or go to, go another way? Um, see, we jump him. Do they note? Would they notice us if we came through? Is there anywhere we can hide? They don't notice you now. You do see that there are stalag stalactites, stalagmites on either side of the cave. They would provide cover from there. You would have to sneak to get to them there, and there is a chance they could see you. Could they successfully like cover all of us? What do you mean cover all of you? If we because there's we four of us behind the stalactites. Oh. Yeah, so you could fit one, two, three. Yeah, you could probably all fit in that, like this corner here. Yeah. And maybe like one behind this one. Well, it's like three and one. It'd be a tight squeeze, but you could do it. Okay. Yeah, I'll try and get behind there. Cool. Do I need to help anyone get through? Um, not at the I moment. Know. I need you to make me a I stealth check. People up. Come on, you're good at these. Yeah, hopefully with a plus eight. Oh, you do notice that on this, um... Oh. Yeah. No, that's fuck, that's fuck for me, not fuck for you. Does one of you see her? Does one of you see her? <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking sneak up. You're so sneaky. Yep, you know it. And I'll hide behind oh my this god. Sally Tyson. Cool. 
Alrighty, so it's an athletics check to climb up there, Darrow. Shit. Oh, you do notice, um, Elfie, as you look at this bugbear, you see that he has a, like a makeshift crown on his head. Okay. Or well, like, what is it made of? Like, you know, just like twigs and sticks and shit like that. Like, it's not a, definitely not a real crown. M missed opportunity, that could have totally been bones. Mm. <laughs> I like twigs. Twigs are here. Brevnia, where did you go? Oh, uh, yeah, while they're climbing that, can I, like, <laughs> come back to the cave entrance? And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drop some more hunting traps. I'm gonna put them in the river. Sure. Thank you. But don't walk backwards, Darrow. Sure. Good. Okay. Uh, uh, screw them. Dra Draco, wanna give me a hand up? Yeah, yeah. And I'm literally sitting there pushing your ankles. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> with with a negative one strength. Yeah, I'm helping. So do you have um do you have proficiency in athletics, Draco? Oh, I do. Oh, yes. You need proficiency. So you need proficiency yeah. to give the help action. Yeah, I, I I do. I got proficiency in athletics. Yeah. So Fuck funny. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Dragons so, you can roll man. it with advantage. Uh... And lucky I did! Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yep, so it'll take you a couple turns, but you can climb up, and then it'll be a stealth check to get through unabated. I flash Draco a, a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big, strong dragon. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> you know what? It's still good. Yeah. <laughs> they do not notice you. Who's next? Uh, I think like I'll go next. Uh, Draco's starting to go up. Bravery will be come back. Okay. My tool on Draco. Trapped in the, I... in the water. I'll, I'll yeah. go. I'll go next. Brave Neon. That's an athletics. Hello. Can I like help punt little Draco up the cliff? Oh, he doesn't need it. He oh, climbs okay. up. Oh. I'm, a, then... I'm a dragon. I don't need it. Now to. for this one, Draco, because you are. Oh, I should have done. I forgot your. I forgot your bonus. Um. To Reggie. nimbleness? Oh. No, no, sorry, I forgot Reggie's bonus, which would have made his, his stealth much easier. But, either way, um, you can make your stealth check with advantage. Because you are not making any noise climbing through this small hole, because you are also small. Oh, okay, nice. Small hole, alright. There's... Um, do I have to roll a second one? That was my first roll. Um... You don't need to, so you're all good. Okay, sweet. I suppose Draco would have noticed uh, Darrow was able to sort of contort himself. Yeah, you, you uh, noticed it. And he gets a bit thinner and longer, and he's able to pull himself up a bit easier. That is scary. Yeah, for, for such a gangly robot, he was incredibly flexible and nimble as he was getting through that hole. Yeah, like my oh. joints bent backwards and that sort of thing. I, I walk through right. it with like a space to spare. Come on. Don't put your dwarf in and this is a shame. Ah. <laughs> I, I silently. <sighs> yeah, so athletics check to climb. Hey! Ah. Big roll for Bravnian. Okay, Alright, the ones are out on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> um, now it's combat's coming. Stealth check, please. I all the armor. I use 16. I don't oh have my armor. God. What are you about? Nice. You've never seen a, uh, a stealthier dwarf moving this fast. So graceful. <laughs> okay. Like, any of you that look up as I like, come through this gap, like, my mouth is moving and it's just silent curses. <laughs> <laughs> Mad scrambles that somehow don't make too much sound. Yeah. As you guys are hiding here and sort of watching um, these things, the, one of the goblins says, um, Hey, hey Clog, 
is it true you really want to take on Grohl to be king? And he'll say, and then Clog will respond back by, I'm a fucking, I'm a better president than that prick ever would be. Is that one of the goblins that are saying this or the bugbear? So the bugbear is saying that he would make a better president than the current president. Do they think he's a goblin? So bugbears are goblins. They're different types of goblins. Okay. That is much bigger and stronger. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And they're saying like, he's boss, like it's gonna be a big job. We're gonna need some more men. And then Clark says, Well, hopefully the shit we took from that um from that fat prick buys us some more time to get more men. What yeah, would you guys wanna, like to do? Do we wanna pop out? Do you wanna try and like sneak attack him? Quietly. Shimmy my mole back onto my Ooh. back. Oh hang on. Um, I've got a your, question. Um, sorry, you've got th thirty feet of sixty feet of dark vision, don't you, Cat? Mm hmm Just a heads up. <laughs> I I very quietly point north and then like I go I can see them. Three, <laughs> then <laughs> growly face. Um, is that? Uh, it looks like the light is around that campfire. Yeah. Um, I uh I quickly lean into um. Uh, Sparrow, and I go, Sparrow, I can I can make it dark. I I can make it dark so we can attack. That would be detrimental. <laughs> that would be suboptimal. De de detrimental is good. We I do it, yeah. Can no. you goblins see in the dark? Yes. Um. Yes. Let's just let's just let's just can kill them. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yeah. I go, think go the only thing here that doesn't like the dark is the wolf. And Darrow. And me, yeah. <laughs> and Darrow, especially Darrow. So it does kind of balance out not having the two wolves in the fight. Elfie. Uh, wol wolves get advantage on uh, perception checks to find people there. The smell. Yeah. Yeah. El Elfie, shoot, shoot the big guy. What do you guys think? Well, I, if dark's not good, how about I make it really like, bright? Not daring to say anything, so he's just like mouthing words at you. What's he mouthing? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do? You, what's he not saying out loud? But if he could say out loud, he would say. Uh, he's saying that there's a <laughs> I can see in three the dark. more bad what is things he to the north. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I, I can see those bad things uh, to the north. Some kind of less than pleasant gestures uh, at <laughs> Draco and a <laughs> gesture of um, some splatting. Some splatting. I, I look over him waving his arms around and I like open my mouth and I like wave my fingers in front of my mouth like fire and then I nod excitedly. On that, as you guys are very quietly whispering to each other, Elfie, you, you look over at this wolf, and you see its ears just prick up at attention. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! And it and it slowly turns its head in your direction, okay, and it's yeah. it's I'm doing that thing it. like where that where its nose starts to like like sniff like, um, and then a slow a very a very low growl. Okay, I'm gonna shoot it with an arrow. Nice. What, what are you? Who are you shooting at? The the wolf. Fuck yeah! Nice. The wolf. Well, let's all roll. Oh fuck's sake! Every time. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Let's roll initiative. Um, before initiative. we do that, before we do it, can I make the campfire incredibly bright, kind of like a flashbang? Um, how are you doing that? I am doing that with a spell called Control Flames. It, it effectively doubles the brightness of the light in the room. So I was going to do that as like a bang, make it really bright, and then you know start initiative hopefully with uh, 
the enemies may be a bit blinded. You know what? Sure. I'm here for it. Help me, that's the wrong roll again. Yeah, you gotta stop doing your insight. <laughs> so, what? your initiative. Your initiative is not that one. You're making Which one is it? It's one up the one. top. Scroll up. It's uh, that Idiot. one. See that one where it says initiative? Shut up. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's... Ah, there we go. <laughs> that's better. You make you take the two. It's the same bonus. But I won't. Has everyone no. rolled initiative? Only two of us have so far. Uh, oh wait. Oh yours is up there. So what your flashbang did was it gave them a minus five to their initiative. Hell yeah. Which didn't change a fucking thing, but just letting you know it did something. Uh I'm not on there, but I rolled a seven. Oh, are you not? I'll add you on. Sweet. Squeeze me. A seven or a seventeen? Seven. Down the bottom. Nice. Still doing better than some. Elfie, you are first to act. So now I shoot the dog? Yeah, you can shoot the dog. Okay. As you are unseen at this point. You may roll with advantage. Which is fucking lucky. Sneak attack. 16 hits. Roll your damage and then roll sneak attack. I think my thing was bugged out. Oh. Very nice damage. 13 points of damage. Ooh. You just an arrow straight through the wolf's heart and it drops dead nice. killed an animal babe disgusting there it is motherfucker there it is alright like what else would you like to do anything else um i can't shoot anybody else can i no no um can Hold on, let me just see something. Should I put my health back to full? Uh, <laughs> That's a smart way of playing it off, Cap. Who put my health back to full? No, fucking D&D Beyond character sheets on full. It, it's actually bugged out, I can't change it on this. What is this? Oh, it says no, that's 11. Everything. I'll end my turn. Okay, it says... Oh no, it's back to 11. Oh yeah, we're back to I saw it at 17 as well. Draco, you are next to act. Okay, uh, just double checking. Is uh, our friend Brave Neon? Um, is he <laughs> is he within range of ten feet? Of you? Yeah. Of yes. Me. Okay. Next question: Can I cast from where I am now? Uh, what do you mean? Can you cast? Can I cast like, like a, a fireball towards any of those from this? Yeah, no, no, that's spot? fine. It's okay. this is a slightly enclosed space because the tokens are a little bit big. But yeah, you can get. Okay, you can get one sweet. Of them. Like it would be, it'd be it, this this guy here would have half cover. Uh, which, which one? Sorry, I, I don't see the ping. Sorry. Ah, uh, this guy here. I. See. Still didn't see the ping, sorry. Oh, there you go, now I see it. Okay, the red one. The middle yep. one. Okay, yep. Yeah, so the middle one would have, um, I think, the, the bugbear and... Okay, uh, the... I will cast Firebolt. Yeah. At the closest one. Yeah. And then I'll hit it with that. It's... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Dead. Nice. As you um, melt his brain inside his head. 
And then, right as I launched the fireball, I yelled to my compatriots, um, let the, let the brave dragon lead your way, and I do my draconic roar, giving them all advantage on their attack rolls for the next turn. How often can you do that? Twice per long rest. That's so good. Very nice. And that doth endeth my turn. Okay. Well, this guy... Um, he's gonna go... He's gonna try to hit you, but you have half cover, Cab. Oh, I have my shield on. I'm glad I put that on. Oh wait, so do you have a mole or you have your shield? I have my shield, I've taken my mace. This is like okay, a lot of people. Cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah, not even close. Cool. He will end his turn. Alright. Clark's turn. Clark is gonna step up. And what can he do? And he is gonna yeet a javelin at you, Cab. Oh no. Oh no, the barbarian's not raging yet. Please, no. How did you go from Scottish to Russian? <laughs> that, he went French wasn't... for a little bit. <laughs> you have pretty high AC at the moment. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah. Uh, as a javelin just launches over your head and embeds in the rock behind it. You can Woo! tell it's clearly incredibly strong. That is going to end his turn. Bravnion, you're up. I am going to step out in front of this little itty bitty goblin. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm going to rage. Fuck yeah. Um, I'm a. Uh... Smack him with my stick. Yes. Uh, oh. uh, I, I literally two. think you can... Plus two? Yeah, from Rage. Yeah, oh, cool. You literally can't not kill these things. Yes! I pop out of the yeah. corner, <laughs> I scream in his face, and I bonk him right between the eyes. <laughs> uh, then nice. I'll turn around to Krog, and I will walk up here. Yes. Nice. Darrow. Um, I'm gonna stand up, make a bit of room, and say, uh, I'm gonna cast Vicious Mockery. Mm -hmm. So that's another wisdom save. For the bugbear? For the bugbear. And I will say, he uh, saves. Oh. Oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll save anyway. Um. <laughs> do, do a really lame insult. Something that wouldn't affect him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got bad brows or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, you, you haven't manicured your eyebrows lately. <laughs> you're hairy. You should use a comb. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Bravnian. Protect me. <laughs> not your best, uh, not your best insults, mate. Uh, and I will use my bonus action to inspire Bravnian. And, um, I'm gonna paint, uh, you know those YouTube thumbnails with the really big red arrow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna paint that towards the bugbear. Nice. Uh, and that's my turn. Cool. Dead. Dead. Elfie, it is your turn. With I'm an advantage on an attack roll. An advantage? Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to shoot this bugbear. Yeah. And I'm. So, do I roll now? Just. Yep, so just roll to attack with advantage. With advantage. That's better. Hits. So now roll your damage and then roll sneak attack. It still hasn't seen me. 
No, so he he definitely sees you now, but you have um, you still have advantage, so you still get sneak attack. Um, nice. Is this his first damage? Yeah. Yep. yep. Nice. Ow. Um, and then can I shove one of these goblins closer? Which one of these ones? Uh, yeah. The left, the left hand side one. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to move to, like, there to see them. But yeah, you could do it. Are I they... can see them right are, now. Are yeah, they no, even? You, yeah, you can see them now, but it's just because of the shape of the map. There's still a wall in front of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, are, are they in an initiative one yet? Square over. Yeah. So like, there would be fine. Okay, I'll move there, and then telekinetic shot. Cool. Ailes, which one do you want to move towards you? Left um, or right? The left hand one. Oh, too far. Oh. All right. Wolf's turn. I'm going to give you a little kiss. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, he gets advantage and it still doesn't hit. Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh, I probably should have asked this before. Tommy, yep. dead bodies don't take up space, do they? No, they don't. That's okay. why I just moved him. I moved them both together. Okay, sweet, sweet. Cool. Draco, you're up. Um, two, two hits, two misses. Oh, Wait, where'd, that other, two... where'd that other goblin come from? Which one? Oh, what, did it just move? Came from the yeah, left. it rang from the oh, okay. room above, yeah. Um, this pyroclast kind of looks like it's in my way here. Is that actually in the way, or...? Is what? But where I moved, that rock, is that in, technically in the way, or do I need to move one? No, 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 you're good there. That's okay, fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... I will. I think I'll just. I'll do something different. I'm going to cast Firebolt. Of Changing it up. What a funny joke. Who are you hitting? <laughs> Who are you going for? The Bugbear. Nice. He's very close to death. Um, and I'm going to duck behind this thing where old mate was getting half cover before. Cool. And the limiter. All right. Ugbear's turn. He's got a bone to pick with you. Shit. <laughs> you being Bravneon for oh. killing his, his buddies. As he pulls out his morning star. Oh, I heard some dwarvish curses at him. Yeah, well, it fucking doesn't hit. Woo. Crazy. Smack it with my shield. <laughs> These are just some unskilled goblins. Grab him, you're up. Well, we ah. did just we did just flashbang them and then kill their friends instantly. That's that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> We're the good guys. <laughs> We're the good guys. Uh, that's a dirty twenty to hit. It's um, four, seven plus two, nine points of bludgeoning damage. On the bugbear. On the bugbear. How would you like to kill him? Uh, <laughs> so when he swings at me, I just like smack it away with my shield, and then immediately bonk him between the eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, and they go, what have the rest of you got? Uh, and <laughs> right over here, go, oh, there's more of them. <laughs> That's oh, so are you stepping over there? 
I am stepping over there, and I do see the goblin and the extra wolf, and then I scream a little bit uh, and step back here. Um, so are you, so you still walk over there? <laughs> yeah, I walk one, two. What happens here? Probably yeah. a ready oh, action. The goblin gonna try and opportunity attack me. He's gonna succeed. Ooh. Ooh. Really good. Sixteen on the dice. Do for f eight points of slashing damage. Uh. Cool. Oh, half to four. Half to four. Does he have a plus three? Oh no, goblins have like a plus four or something, don't they? Uh, 1d6 plus two. Oh, plus four to hit. Right. Yeah. So, Oof. dirty 20 to hit. Oof. Right. And I rolled, max, I rolled max damage, so you're at seven. Alrighty. Does that end your turn? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry, my bad. I have no bonus action stuff I can do as of yet. Cool. Unforgivable. I should have become more optimized. <laughs> no bonus action attack off the rip. Ugh. May as well put it's a character in the pen. Seven points of slashing damage. Uh, Jesus. Three. Damage. These are some lucky goblins. I was 20 on the dice, oh, not 20 on the dice, but dirty 20 and then a dirty 19. Hmm. To be fair, they've been missing all night. It's about time they start hitting something. Dad, this is how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to. So, in Cab's campaign, we're also up against goblins, and my his AC is 19 right now. Which is like pretty good. My AC for my character is like twenty three, and he still fucking hits me this often. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so like to be or something. Jesus. Hmm? So I am going to make this goblin down here do a wisdom save against Vicious. Oh. Okay. No, no, it didn't attack with advantage. That was just a very lucky roll. Fails. Um, I just talked to it saying, uh, you are a goblin. Boom. Roasted. Uh, <laughs> Boom. Roasted. And I will do my 1d4. <laughs> 1. And he has uh, disadvantage. Disadvantage in his attack. Uh, go get them, guys. Um, does the advantage on attack rolls, that wouldn't affect anything you just did then, would it? Nah. Rip. Nah. Save. But, uh, that's my turn. Okay. And that's with a dash, that's all he can do. Dead, dead. New round, Elfie. Uh, there is a wolf right in front of you. Can I use my arrow? Um, you can drop your bow and pull out your sword. Okay, is it too close? Yeah, it's too close to use a, a bow and arrow. Okay. Um, how far away does something have to be? Uh, you um, can do it, but you'll have disadvantage if it's within five yeah. feet. Okay. Your uh, your rapier does do more damage. Uh, anyway. anyway. So. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll get my rapier out. Mm -hmm. And I will hit the wolf, the closest one. Uh, roll your damage plus sneak attack. Sorry, Tommy, real quick. Yep. Uh, inspiration. Do we have to declare that before we roll? Or say we roll, it's no. bad, can we say I use inspiration to roll again? You can do it after. 
Okay, cool. Eleven is exactly enough to kill this wolf. Fuck, every time you do damage, it's eleven. Do I still have my Bardic Inspiration? Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay. I didn't think I used it yet. Who just ticked it off? Oh, my bad. Sorry, I, I was putting it on for you. Is there, a, is there a thing for it? Yeah, there's a thing for everything. Where is it? Where do you press the button for it? Right so click. you go right click your thing and then go conditions slash markers, and there's oh, all that's of them. So there. cool. Okay, amazing. Gotcha. That is handy as fuck. Um, awesome. He's you casting magic, <laughs> Darrow, and he's not having it. Oh, he runs out of my range. I see he's, he's over here. Yeah, and yeah, he, he... Did he not run right past me? Because he was uh, run above that. Yes, he did run right past you. You made... Fuck, you have I'm not laughing. Damn it. damn it, I'm using my Bardic Inspiration. The arrows shift to him. Help! Hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a 15 hit a goblin. 15 just hits. Yes! Oh, 15 was the number. 6 plus 2. That, 8 points of bludgeoning damage. As, one as this goblin runs up to fucking murder you, Darrow. Well, that's the, not even like a bonk on the head. That's like, <laughs> I see him coming, I just swing out a clothesline and whatnot. Yeah, clotheslines him and kills him. <laughs> Great Thank guy. you. You're up. There is two enemies here. Okay. Um, I'm going to peek out from behind this cover, seeing that goblin die. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Run over to here, and then I am going to line up my fire blast and blast that goblin. Go. Sure. Definitely hits. Oh my god, another one. As you cook his brain like a casserole. Dead. Die in dragon's fire. <laughs> Very cool. By the way, just assume every time I do a firebolt, I lean forward, open my mouth, and then shoot a fireball Garched. out of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Alrighty, is that into your turn? Yep, that ends my turn. Oh, hello. Oh, another Gold. one. I mean, we're, we're setting this cave out pretty quickly. 14 does not... Do, does a 14 hit you, Elfie? A 14? Uh, it's a 16. God damn it. Yes! Yes! I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Round me on. You're up. Uh, I'm gonna smack the goblin that just ran at my friend. <laughs> okay. Sure. I think he did. Hey, Kev. Just... I might not smack the goblin that just ran. <laughs> does a 12 hit? 12 does not hit. Damn it. We tried. Uh... Hey, Gab, is this how you feel when you put in a shitload of monsters and then the team just comes in and wipes them all out with ease? <laughs> you shake me. Nah, because normally right Slane's trying to do something like really sly and dumb that shouldn't work. Oh. <laughs> How's it feel to be on the winning side this time around? Oh, hey. great. I love it. Although that four health is kind of concerning to me. It's okay. <sighs> I've got you covered, Bravnian. Quite rough. Thanks. Uh, All right. I don't think Is I that in your In terms of bonus actions, you know what? I should have tried to punt him with my shield because then I could have at least grappled him. Bah. Okay, that's my turn. Darren, you're up. Um. Uh, I'm gonna vicious mockery the wolf. <laughs> yeah. I got I got nothing left, guys. Uh, wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> I don't DC see. 14. Uh, 14? Yes. A natural one, he fails. Awesome. I will say, uh, 
in in 1,000 years, you will be domesticated as a house pet. You will eat your own shit all day. Uh, and I'll cast Vicious Mockery. Okay. And that really hurt. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> One damage again. <laughs> Every single time. And, uh, you see I'm his gonna... tail go in between his legs and like drop his head. <laughs> you you should have called uh, his mum a bitch. I should have. I'll keep that in my uh, <laughs> in the back pocket. I'm gonna use my last bardic inspiration. Um. On. Who's up next? Elfie. Yeah. Uh. I am going to. Uh. Paint a really big thumbs up in front of me, and it inspires you. A big thumbs up. Am I yep. not already it's... inspired? No, this a different, different kind of inspiration. How do I use that? So this one is whenever you want, you can add a d6 to your roll. Add a d6? Yeah, not damage rolls though, only like to hit or like ability checks or saving throws. Any d20 roll. Okay. Except yeah. maybe initiative? Oh, you can add it to initiative. I don't see why not. It's a dexterity um, check. Damn, that's Just insane. You roll damage um, or roll attack. I'll use it for this goblin here. Oh, so Excellent. you got to do it on your turn. Yeah. Uh, but yes. Is it my turn right now? Nope. No. Okay. And then it I'm going is... to slip into this corner and I'll curl up into a ball. <laughs> <laughs> right. You just hear uh, Brandolph shouting, Dado! Dado, where'd you go? Uh, <laughs> you got this. You got this. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I rolled that with disadvantage, and I got a seventeen and a, a seventeen and a nine. So I would have had you <laughs> without the disadvantage. Oh, yay! Hey, hey. hey. how did they get it out? This is what the, the best dog spell doing? ever. <laughs> what the dog doing? Elfie, you're up. Okay. I'm gonna attack cool. the goblin. Do it. Kill that motherfucker. Oh my god, use it. 12 will not hit. Use it. Inspiration. Yep, so you use your bardic inspiration. Three now or roll a higher. D6. It's a d6. Yep, so Come the on. six out of dice. Just roll, just click it and then hit roll. Woo! Yay! You now hit. You know what I can't so wait for? The no cleric who can cast a bless on us. Attack? Damage plus sneak attack. Nice. You got it. Do you know why you're rolling with sneak attack? No. Okay. <laughs> you're doing it because one of your friends is next to you. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. That's right. <laughs> Distracting. Distracting the other enemy. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, fucking... What the dog doing? Our, our damage rolls have been high. Yeah. What are you talking about? Ow. My damage rolls have been ones. <laughs> it's so, so, <laughs> so, 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 anyway. So, 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 uh, Draco. Um, I climb over these bodies and then get over to here. Um, and then looking down the line of sight of the dog, I just launch a fireball straight down its throat. Cool. It is... Yeah, go for it. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, unlucky. And that ends my turn. No worries. Ravneon. Uh, well, you see, I go for a tactic that I haven't used in a bit. Where, actually, no, I don't want to shield the dog. That seems a bit much for a dog. <laughs> shield the dog? Yeah. Oh. You might tell him to shield. Oh. Like an owl. Rough. Rough. Shut up. Oh. That is a natural 20. 
Uh, plus two, 12 damage. 12 damage was all that you needed. Dead. I really sadly bonked the dog. Nah, come on, you, you hit him so hard his body flies and hits the wall. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and as you hit him and he's flying through the air, he's yelping. And then bang, it's the wall and dies. Cool. That is going to end combat. And that is also going to end the session for tonight. Yeah, that's fair. I'm surprised we're uh, at this long. Yeah, we will finish up this cave next week. Sweet. Bravian's body hurts. Yes. Mine doesn't. <laughs> God damn it. it like I reckon the ruin needs to pull his sword out and try poke things with this. <laughs> Are you kidding? Though with his AC, I I think he's playing the right move with his levels of AC. No, no, no. See, I don't care about his AC. I care about the resources, which is his HP. <laughs> no worries, guys. Well, thanks, thanks for, for that session. session. Yeah, thanks, Tommy. That was fun. Bye. It was a lot of fun. It's very fun. It was very fun. It's nice to play a session. And I had a lot of fun. Um, bonking. Bonking. Bonk. Yeah, bonking was a lot of fun. Definitely a good call of use the shield. <laughs> That's so funny. How did you enjoy the first session, Jules? It was fun. I'll come back next week. Nice. Yeah, I'm glad, glad, glad <laughs> my girlfriend won't leave my campaign after one. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a bit awkward. I think. Oh, bad luck. Very nice. Fuck, you guys are so close to already leveling up. Yes, give me level two. And then give me level 3 so that I... Oh, level 2 I get Reckless Attack, so I should hopefully never roll a 1 again. Uh, <laughs> and then level 3 I get my subclass so I can hit people as a bonus action. Phil. That is cool. I'm really looking forward to the subclass. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. I am, <laughs> assuming I don't die next session, I am really looking forward to seeing what Bravnian gets up to. <laughs> Like You'll be fine. Level three. Just checking, Reggie, you, you have no spell slots there, is that right? No. Damn. I got some oh. in the, in the uh, back Just as like a, a note of what I'm going to do immediately at the start of the next session too. So my rage isn't technically over yet, so I'm running straight north and going to try to throw a javelin at something. Yeah. Okay. You could probably <laughs> die. The reason I didn't heal you, if you're wondering, Party. Hello, I am here. Uh, oh, I just, I just jumped off Discord. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm so, long I'm long range, dude. I really shouldn't be getting hit. Yeah. Like so my I my fire covered. Yeah, my my fireball's 120 feet or something. Like I can sit right yeah. back and just artillery. That's kind of why I like it. Yeah. I had a lot of fun, guys. I like it. I was characters. Like you guys to climb up there and just fight the boss. Straight away. First room. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, what's that little door over there? <laughs> I'm sitting here being like, I know what's up there, but I don't want to like metagame it, so I'll just go where no one else wants to go. Um, I do have a question. Are you guys sick of the word shiny yet? No. <laughs> no, honestly, it just gets funnier the more you mention it now. I... <laughs> Any annoyance they have goes away when I look at your character token, and I'm like, questions, yeah, that tracks. The questions <laughs> leading up to it, though, like, what are the what are the hilts of swords made of in the bucket? Yeah. <laughs> Does he have buckles? Does he have buckles? Yeah. Waiting for it. Like I said, I, with, with my character, he doesn't understand the value of coin yet. So for him, a shiny belt buckle is worth just as much as a gold coin. How old is this dragon? Uh, I did say 17, <laughs> then 19, but on my sheet, it's actually 17. Oh, there we go. How old is everyone's character? I believe the age of a, of a, of a normal 19-year-old, or is it like, because he's a baby dragon, it's like a... It, so it's, he's actually kobold, right? He's a kobold dragon. He's because little... it's mature faster than people do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Plus, onto that as well, he actually um, got separated from his tribe when he was a lot younger, so he, he 
he never really grew up around people. He spent most of his time wandering through a cave until he stumbled up cro across the uh, the goblin. Oh, not goblin. The miners, the uh, dwarf miners. So he's he's very immature. He doesn't understand the world in that aspect. Does he know that he's not a drag? Oh no, he wholeheartedly believes he's a dragon. Like. <laughs> Like, you would have to torture him for weeks on end to get him to stop believing he's a dragon. Bless his soul. I'm very excited for you guys to meet President Grohl. Grohl? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we just killed his enemy, so... President Donald J. Grohl. Oh. I'm so excited <laughs> for this. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have to nail the fucking impression for when we meet him. He's been practicing. I see. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. It's been, it's been great. <laughs> what? You think you can just walk into my lair and just kick my dog? It's not happening. Exactly These goblins, like they're freaky freaks. <laughs> goblin king. No one's a better goblin king than me. I'm the best goblin king. <laughs> I'm the only Goblin King there's ever been. <laughs> I make the best deals, I kill the most people. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of sounds like Eric Cartman. <laughs> That's good. I'm really excited for that. I've been trying yeah. to learn a Donald J. Trump impression. I can't wait to look one. <laughs> Mind you, the, these Boston Goblins, oh my god. Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> Such a good rendition. <laughs> I wanted a bit more range because everything is either English, Irish, or Scottish, and my and, and all those accents might meld between one and another. Like Gundren went from being Scottish to Irish to English back to Scottish, <laughs> and I was like, "God, I'm losing him." <laughs> He's gone. He's been gone. He got lost in the source. Hmm. It was fun, guys. Bard is very fun. Mm. Is fun. I think you're really enjoying the silent one-liners your character's pumping out, though. I think you're really enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Vicious Mockery's fun. I've got a document written up of, uh, of Vicious <laughs> Mockery and so on. I can hear you going through a document. <laughs> yeah. One yeah, zero. me and my friend sat at Discord last night and we just read it out. Shit done. One, zero, zero, one, one, oh, zero, oh my god, one. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry you guys had to sit through that. It was so long. <laughs> Love that it. is the real binary for noob though. I, I was trying that. to I tried originally doing like reset. fuck you bitch, but it was like <laughs> two hundred digits yeah. or some yeah. shit. Every I would wait. Alright. But only if it worked, I would I'm gonna wait. write out a monologue in uh in yeah. binary. Oh no, are you sure? Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. I've been we giving can just say he does it in his downtime. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> spends hey. the week just one zero zero one. Zero, just one, 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 one week casting time. Hey. He's he's recorded it for for that time. Why don't you do the binary in the um the game chat, like the actual physical chat? That way we can see it rather than hearing it. And it's I might do that. Yeah. That that could work. Yeah. Now I'm I'm only gonna speak in binary through chat. Oh god! You could actually type something out in a website yeah. called Convert to Binary, then just copy paste for everything. Yeah, that sounds super fun for everyone involved. I have, uh, <laughs> I've made a shopping list for Brevnan of all the stuff that I want to get him. Um, I'm yeah, gonna my... No, no, no! Good god, no! I, I haven't picked up my Warhammer yet, which I want over my mace. Okay. Um, <laughs> and then I need a, and then I need a bag of cow traps, and then a bag of bull bearings. Uh, I've got my bear traps, so I don't need any more bear. Oh, uh, by the way, Tommy. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, my bag of one thousand bull barons. I can like throw it in front of people and they fall over. Great. Oh, handy. You can do that as well. I didn't know I could do that. You can do. You gotta read your sheet, babe. Yeah. Well. This is Dungeons and Dragons. You can do anything. Plus, um, can you also <laughs> throw the ball bearings to create uh, audio distractions at a distance? Yeah. Probably. Mm. I can also just throw rock to do that, but yeah. How far can you throw them? As far as your strength, like, can allow. You know, like you can't you can't throw it five hundred yards, like five hundred feet. But can like, you throw you know. it as far as you throw it, like a arrow? Could I use my short bow to throw it like eighty feet? Maybe, probably not. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll decide in the day. Um, <laughs> Tommy, I just 
I just shrunk my character icon a bit though, if that's all good. Yeah. Oh, did it not already? Did it not already shrink you? No, no. It was um. It looked like standard size, like a, so I shrunk oh, it a bit. Oh, sorry. It should have. It should have automatically made you small because you're small. Oh wait, no. But small is also five by five. That's why. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I mainly did it for it. aesthetics. Yeah. No. Sounds good. Alrighty, guys. Um, we're gonna bounce because it's for work tomorrow morning. Yeah. I appreciate it. I hope the session was good. It was great, Tommy. Thank you very much. So much fun. And no it worries. was nice to meet you, Jules. I hope you keep playing. Nice to meet you guys, too. I'll definitely be here next week. So. Awesome. Much to See you guys. I'll look at in advance for OP. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. See you. Yeah. Good night. See ya.